Chapter 2881 Tearing off any face The four peak experts' voice contained a sobbing tone, as well as terror. In front of the divine statue's power, he couldn't lie. However, by telling the truth, he had announced his own execution. The High Firmament Academy might allow disciples to fight amongst each other, but it definitely did not permit experts at the level of elders to participate, let alone actually kill disciples. The fighting between disciples was nothing more than a battle between cattle and sheep. Although avoiding any casualties at all was impossible, the scale was limited. However, if elders joined in, then that would be like releasing a tiger. There would be immense casualties. Fresh blood was always important in any place, so there had to be rules to protect those newcomers. For elders to abuse disciples was always forbidden. Chu Yishan, who told you to capture Long Chen and the others? What was the order? Demanded the head judge to the other four peak elder. It, it was young master Chu Kuang who ordered me to capture the disciples and kill Long Chen in the process, saying that he resisted fiercely and resulted in an accidental death. Chu Yishan lowered his head dispiritedly. He knew that there was no way to lie. Long Chen didn't react at all to this admittance of guilt. He had known his goal the instant they first clashed. It was due to this that Long Chen had thought of a trick to destroy the transportation formation and set off the alarm. He had to blow up this matter, or he would be killed. Mu Qingyan and the others' expressions changed. They were all enraged. They had thought that Chu Yishan was only trying to capture them. They hadn't expected him to be so sinister. Mu Qingyan suddenly recalled Long Chen's words to her about mercy. Kindness to an enemy was cruelty to her people. Just because something hadn't happened yet didn't mean that it wouldn't happen. Enemies were enemies. One slip-up could cause calamity. Chu Yishan was now confirming Long Chen's words. Thinking of how Chu Yishan had been so brazen as to attempt to kill Long Chen at the entrance to the academy, then what would have happened if Yi Ming had encountered them in Crescent Moon Valley? She cursed herself for her naivety. People were more evil than she imagined. And she actually had time to pity others? That was truly hopeless foolishness. Chu Yishan and Yi Ming were both ashen after testifying. The High Firmament Academy had plenty of laws and punishments, but there weren't many crimes punishable by the death penalty. However, being an elder-level expert and attempting to kill the Academy's disciples for personal reasons was one of those crimes. Although the two of them didn't succeed, they had clearly attempted to do so. Whether or not they succeeded, they would still be punished with the death penalty, and there was no room to argue. The High Firmament Academy protected its new disciples from elders killing them. Hence, the head judge announced the verdict in front of everyone. He directly took out the official document, and the two magistrates had no choice but to stamp it. There was no way for them to protect the two of them now that they were caught. These two four-peak experts were then bound by runic chains and dragged away. However, their death penalty wouldn't occur immediately. They were given a month of buffer time to say goodbye to their family. Once Yi Ming and Chu Yishan were dragged away, the head judge turned to Chu Kuang. Chu Kuang instantly tensed up. Chu Kuang, you're very smart to know how to take advantage of the holes in the High Firmament Academy's rules. You prepared your retreat in advance. However, because of you, hundreds of disciples died this time and this responsibility is also on you. You must not only pay the compensation to the families of those fallen disciples, but you must also pay the fine to the academy. Other than that, you must serve a prison sentence in the bitter cold land, said the head judge expressionlessly. Chu Kuang was truly very crafty. In the past, he had never left any evidence to be used against him. Even if there was, there was always someone to clean up after him. However, this time, he had fallen into Long Chen's hands. So many disciples had died. Hence, he not only had to pay a huge number of immortal crystals as a consequence, but there was also punishment. Although it could be said that it was just three years, it was three years of his golden cultivation time. Even a single month was precious. If he was imprisoned for three years, then even a genius would become a cripple. By the time he returned to the academy, wouldn't Luo Bing, Luo Ning, or Mu Qingyan be able to crush him with a single palm? Chu Kuang was finally afraid and looked at Chu Huiiren. That was his only saving star. 
Chu Huan Iron's expression was gloomy. Two of the Chu family's people had been given the penalty, so it could be considered the head judge's attack against them. He didn't have any mercy, nor did he give them any face. Originally, Chu Huan Iron had thought to leave the head judge some face, but the head judge refused to give him any. At first, it was possible to use some tricks of the court to slightly twist things. By invoking the right laws, the two of them wouldn't be executed. However, the head judge had taken charge and been completely direct just to put them in their place. Chu Huan Iron coldly said, Head judge, have you forgotten? When it comes to compensation, if both sides can reach a common understanding, there is no dispute. The academy has no authority to pursue blame in that case. Then, Chu Kuang's heaviest punishment would be reduced from three years to one year. Furthermore, he is severely injured and needs to recover. He still can't be imprisoned in his condition. As for the fine, the Chu family has many profitable businesses. There is no problem paying that fine. It can be considered subsidizing the academy. Other than that, the divine competition begins next month. According to the academy's laws, since this competition relates to the foundation of the entire academy, even someone guilty can attend as long as they weren't given the death penalty. If he wins the competition, there will be a year-long trial on the battlefield. If he makes outstanding merits on the battlefield, he can be exempt from punishment. Chu Huan Iron was clearly protecting Chu Kuang. If the head judge wanted to punish Chu Kuang, he would have to act within the scope of the laws. Chu Huan Iron was definitely more familiar with these laws compared to the new head judge. So his voice was icily arrogant. The head judge smiled. I'm aware of what you're saying, but that's a lot of hypotheticals. Don't be too confident in things that haven't occurred yet. Using your own words, what if Chu Kuang doesn't obtain victory? Ha ha ha. In this generation of disciples in the God Institute, who can match Chu Kuang? Long Chen. Chu Huan Iron suddenly laughed. Everyone looked at Long Chen. Long Chen then glanced at Chu Kuang and shook his head. A piece of firewood really isn't a match for me. Ha ha ha. Then just wait. I announce the trial is over. Chu Huan Iron laughed and actually took the initiative over the head judge, waving his hand and leaving along with the other magistrate. Quite an uproar arose from that response. Chu Huan Iron had essentially publicly announced that he was going against the head judge. That was scandalous. Long Chen also hadn't expected Chu Huan Iron to be so arrogant, so he was a bit angry. He suddenly saw Chu Kuang looking at him disdainfully. What are you looking at? The anger in his heart erupted, and Long Chen immediately slapped him. Chapter 2882 Play with you Long Chen slapped Chu Kuang in the face, sending him tumbling back. Chunks of his black flesh fell off his face, revealing some of his barely grown skin. Long Chen Chu Kuang was enraged. Long Chen was so brazen as to attack him in front of everyone. Dozens of people surrounded them in an instant. There were even four peak experts in their midst, looking ready to kill. When Chu Huan Iron left, the head just also directly left. The spectators had only just started leaving when they saw Long Chen slap Chu Kuang. They immediately sat back down to watch. Long Chen, you dare to attack me in the trial hall. I'm going to report this right now. Just you wait, raged Chu Kuang. He was a genius that the Chu family had spent a huge amount of effort raising. No one had ever struck him like this. He had always been the one beating others. However, against Long Chen, he suffered repeated losses. He hated Long Chen to the bone. Today, he had slapped him once more in front of the majority of the academy's distinguished people. Such a humiliation was worse than killing him. If it weren't for the fire poison preventing him from fighting, he would be trying to kill him. Go ahead and report it. I'll also report that you managed to escape the court by acting like a dead dog, tricking everyone. Now you're acting like a wild dog randomly biting people. Your criminal charge isn't small. So go ahead and report it. I'll await the good news here, said Long Chen indifferently. Faking an injury in order to trick the court was definitely not a light accusation. Ignoring everything else, at the very least, 50 lashes of the fire whip would be unavoidable. Considering the current state of his body, 50 lashes of the fire whip would fully ignite the fire poison in his body, essentially crippling him. Chu Kuang gnashed his teeth furiously. 
His face twisted with rage. He spat out. All right, Long Chen. Remember that there is no rest until death between us. I'll make you regret coming to this world. I've heard that so often that my ears are tired of it. But even after so many years, I'm still living alive and well. But those who said that to me, well, it's so sad. But the grass on their graves has already grown high and tall. Long Chen walked right in front of Chu Kuang, facing his furious appearance. Long Chen chortled. I wasn't originally interested in the divine competition, but that what was that bad person's name? It's Chu Huiyiren, interjected Li K. One, that's right, that bad Chu person. I knew he wasn't someone good with just a glance. Saying that you would definitely win has made me interested. I don't dislike arrogant people, but I very much mislike people who are even more arrogant than me, especially those who don't even have the ability to be arrogant. I've decided to play with you in the divine competition this time, said Long Chen. Long Chen was originally not interested in Chu Kuang at all. He was just some foolish child of a powerful family. However, today, Chu Huiyiren's arrogance had angered him. He also saw just how big the Chu family's influence was in the academy. If he wanted to grow here, he would need to make the Chu family submit, either by beating them into submission or pulling them out by the roots. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to cultivate in peace. Long Chen was clear on his own matters. To peacefully cultivate wasn't very possible for him. Since that was the case, why not play a bit bigger? He would use explosive power to pave the way in front of him. Hearing that Long Chen would participate in the divine competition, Mu Qingyan was delighted. She clenched her fists and hugged Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu. Li Ke was also excited. With Long Chen present, they had nothing to fear. Ha ha ha. Good. Then let's meet at the divine competition. I'll show you my true power and how foolish you are to go against me. Chu Kuang laughed and turned around. As a result, he almost collapsed. With his injuries, his body wasn't able to move so agilely. If people weren't supporting him, he waddled like a dog pooping. People from the Chu family helped bring Chu Kuang away. The onlookers scattered mostly but some remained to discuss things quietly. Perhaps they were simply reminiscing after not seeing each other for a long time, or perhaps they were discussing Long Chen. Long Chen and the others left in high spirits. The sky looked particularly blue. The air smelled particularly fresh. Chu Kuang had truly lost out this time. After being bullied by him for so long, they finally vented a bit. Furthermore, these people now looked at Long Chen like he was a god. His display during the trial had been marvelous. He even managed to curse a magistrate and make him lower his head. Just how amazing was that? Ba San, when will we be as flashy as you? Asked Li Kei worshipfully. Cultivate and read more. If you had spent the time that you previously wasted on reading instead, you would definitely be in a different state than right now, said Long Chen as he walked. That's right. The books make the person. No wonder Ba San's temperament is so special. I need to work hard to catch up, declared one disciple. Same. When you're all alone, you get caught up in your dreams. Last time when we went hunting, a girl slept on my shoulder, and I've already figured out the names of our future children, exclaimed another disciple. I feel like I've been getting better luck with girls lately. Yesterday, I locked eyes with one and she didn't get bashful. Give it up. Only someone as handsome as Ba San can make girls bashful when he looks at them. For you, they'd only get afraid. No way. Long Chen's agreement to join the divine competition left the unfettered alliance's disciples so excited that they didn't even know how to express it. Their words came out in a jumbled mess. Long Chen, our immortal competition is also going to start soon. I have to go prepare for battle. My opponents are very powerful. We don't dare to be careless. Hopefully we can all win, said Luo Bing. The divine competition and the immortal competition occurred at the same time, but the locations were different. As for the other institutes, their competition formats were completely different and held at different times. Good luck, Long Chen nodded. Long Chen, don't lose to that bastard Chu Kuang. Otherwise, I'll look down on you, said Luo Ning. If I win. Will you no longer look down on me? Asked Long Chen. He, it depends on the situation, laughed Luo Ning. 
leaving with Luo Bing to return to the Immortal Institute. Brother San, there's still a month left until the Divine Competition. Should we increase the pace of the training? Asked Mu Qingyan. No, work and play should be balanced to get the best effect. Everyone, take a three-day break. Don't do anything you need to do. Just do your best to relax as much as possible. Three days later, we'll start our training again. Also, don't hand in the list for the competition yet. Leave it to the end, said Long Chen. Just as he was leaving, he clapped his forehead. Hand over your immortal crystals. 1. Hua Iron. Sounds like bad person. Chapter 2883 Item Spirit Merger The matter of Crescent Moon Valley shook the entire academy, and the fighting within the God Institute had gone from being secret to overt. The disputes between Long Chen and Chu Kuang, as well as the head judge and Chu Hua Iron, had all been exposed during this trial. Chu Kuang was someone famous within the entire academy, but Long Chen's fame had already eclipsed his in just two short months. Hence, the fighting between Chu Kuang and Long Chen became the most commonly discussed topic for the next few days. Many people were guessing just who was stronger. One was an expert with an immense background. He possessed innate talent, and countless resources had also been spent on him. The other was someone with an unclear background. He was a penniless newcomer who didn't walk the ordinary path, relying entirely on his own power to reveal the power of a lower world ascender. Many people knew of Chu Kuang's powerful family background, but now they were even more interested in Long Chen. As an ascender, he didn't bring anything worth a single coin to the immortal world. He hadn't even been able to pay the registration fee, instead becoming a worker, and with practically a cheat level speed. He reached his current point in just a few short months. His fame and sharpness were unmatched. In comparison, Chu Kuang's accomplishments were nothing surprising. After all, he had such a huge background supporting him. His starting point was already higher than everyone else's, so his accomplishments were natural. However, when Long Chen joined the academy, Chu Kuang seemed to have met his nemesis. He was completely suppressed by Long Chen repeatedly losing out to him. This time, too many disciples had died in Crescent Moon Value. Not only were two four-peak experts sentenced to death, but Chu Kuang also had to arrange compensation for the families of the dead. If those families were unsatisfied with their compensation and requested a further investigation from the academy, then Chu Kuang would have to face even greater punishment. It was rumored that the Chu family had spent hundreds of millions of immortal crystals to placate those families. That was just immortal crystals. There were also valuable weapons, medicinal pills, and other treasures. It could be said to be such a price that even the Chu family with its large business network felt some pain. Other than the compensation to the families, there was also the High Firmament Academy's fine. It was just that no one knew how big this fine was but it had to be a frightening number. Damn, money really is the first requirement for cultivation when Long Chen heard this news. He was so envious that he salivated. What he was lacking right now was precisely money. Long Chen had borrowed money from Mu Qingyan and the rest of the Unfettered Alliance's disciples in order to obtain just over 8 million immortal crystals. He then brought this money to the Pill Institute and bought over 3,000 spirit medicines. These spirit medicines were all alive and rather valuable. Moreover, they weren't easy to grow. Just those spirit medicines cost him two million immortal crystals, paining him immensely. But there was no way around it. If he wanted to advance, he needed to spend money. He then spent three million immortal crystals to buy a pill furnace that had reached the level of a spirit item. His heart was bleeding. In the academy, money wasn't easy to earn, but spending it was far too easy. In the blink of an eye, five million immortal crystals flew away, but Long Chen didn't dare to spend the remaining three million. He then returned to his abode and took out his newly bought pill furnace. Long Chen sent a wisp of fire into the pill furnace, slowly lighting up the pill furnace's runes. Spiritual qi started to naturally flow into it. As expected, cheap stuff isn't good quality, and good quality isn't cheap. Long Chen felt a bit better when he saw how powerful it was. At least, this spending was worth it. Long Chen reached out with his spiritual strength. There were some weak spiritual fluctuations from the pill furnace, 
but they were unclear and unable to form an effective connection with Long Chen. A spirit item. An item possessing its own soul and will. In the immortal world, all the laws were different. So for a weapon to give rise to a spirit was extremely difficult. It was said that forging masters could forge thousands and thousands of swords before succeeding in giving rise to a true spirit item. As for the other swords, they could be considered incomplete items. These incomplete items were lacking innately. Although they could help their masters a bit, their power was limited. That was why true spirit items were extremely expensive, and a pill furnace that had reached this level was even more precious. This pill furnace possessed a healthy item spirit, but compared to weapons, a pill furnace was different. Its spirituality was still extremely low, and it needed to constantly refine pills in order to raise its spirituality. This pill furnace was newly forged, which was why it was only 3 million immortal crystals. If it was experienced and its item spirit was fully activated, its price would be 10 times greater, or perhaps even more. Thus, if someone was using a pill furnace properly, it would not devalue and actually increase in value. The better it was used, the more valuable it became. The reason why Long Chen bought a new one was because he couldn't afford an older one that was experienced. Furthermore, he had a very brazen idea. Long Chen took out another pill furnace. This pill furnace was the moon and star refining furnace he had used on the Martial Heaven continent. But right now, its runes were dark and dull. It was like it was dead. Long Chen then pressed his hand against the moon and star refining furnace. Specks of light began to appear in his hand. This was the item spirit of the moon and star refining furnace. After arriving in the immortal world, it had been suppressed into a seed. It was unable to merge with the laws here and had entered a state of deep slumber. If it remained in this state, then it wouldn't be more than a few years before it was erased by the immortal world's laws, wiped out of existence for eternity. After extracting its item spirit, the moon and star refining furnace instantly shattered before turning into ash. The moon and star refining furnace was an item from the mortal world, so its runes were not recognized by the immortal world. Its item spirit could not function here. Hence, Long Chen slowly sent its item spirit into the new pill furnace. He then encapsulated it with his spiritual strength, merging it with this new pill furnace's item spirit. The new pill furnace still hadn't recognized a master, so it could be considered a pure and empty spirit. It quickly merged with the moon and star refining furnace's item spirit. After an incense stick's worth of time, the pill furnace slowly began to shine. Long Chen smiled. Moon refiner, you're finally awake. Long Chen's voice was full of emotion. These spiritual fluctuations were all too familiar to him. It was no longer in its original body, but it was the same soul. Those spiritual fluctuations were extremely weak. Moon Refiner had just merged into its new body. It was extremely weak and only able to reply with very simple thoughts. However, that response was enough. Long Chen waved his hand, causing flames to soar within the pill furnace. It gradually warmed up, and its rune also slowly grew brighter. He, Moon Refiner, Huo Long, we're together again. Let's see if we can refine a good furnace of pills, said Long Chen his eyes shining with anticipation. With the help of the moon and star refining furnace, he could quicken his pace on his cultivation path. Chapter 2884 One Star Top Grade Pills Dragon Heart Grass Ape Scarlet Flower Blazing Fire Chrysanthemum Long Chen refined one precious medicinal ingredient after another into medicinal powder. These were ones that he had just bought. He had already planted them in the primal chaos space and obtained many new harvests of them. More and more of the pill furnace's runes lit up. Although the moon and star refining furnace's item spirit was unable to communicate that well with Long Chen, it still had its tremendous alchemy experience. Furthermore, in the mortal world, it had worked together with Long Chen and Huo Long to refine pills constantly, so everyone was extremely familiar with each other's spiritual fluctuations. Their movements were easy and effortless. A furnace of pills quickly reached the final phase of refining, and it took less than half an incense stick's worth of time. Long Chen was delighted. Huo Long had completely devoured the power of the Heavenly Flame Seed, gaining the power of the Scarlet Spirit Flame. Because the Scarlet Spirit Flame was still sprouting and hadn't awakened its consciousness, 
It was very easy for Huo Long to devour it. Furthermore, Huo Long was absorbing the energy of the companion or every day to increase its power. It already possessed its own consciousness, so it knew to take the initiative with absorbing that energy instead of passively absorbing it. Huo Long's power was growing with each passing day. Its growth rate was astonishing. For it to not refine pills with Long Chen, everything was easy. The medicinal powders no longer had so many impurities. Furthermore, the cooperation with the moon and star refining furnace was easy and familiar. Rumbling sounds began to ring out within the pill furnace as the pills smashed around inside. Long Chen's smile grew. The greater the movements, the greater the quality of these pills. The pill furnace quickly returned to calm as the refinement was finished. After that, Long Chen opened the lid, and a current of warmth blew out. Nine pills lay inside the furnace like balls of colored glass, and light flowed out of the furnace, turning the room into a wonderland. The immortal world's medicinal pills are graded just like the mortal world. Low grade, middle grade, high grade, top grade, and peerless grade. However, here, top grade pills will be affected by the heavenly deos and branded by their mark, their blessing. If the blessing takes the form of a star, they are called pill stars. The elders of the Pill Institute are given titles based on the pill stars that they can form. For example, the seven star elder can refine a top grade pill with seven stars. As for me, I'm still unable to refine even a single star. I'm still very lacking. Long Chen muttered to himself as he examined the pills that he had refined. Long Chen then consumed one of these pills. It was a mortal ascension pill. After a while, he felt like a volcano was exploding in his body, and the immense power surged throughout him, flowing so fast that it rumbled. Long Chen took off his clothes. He found that beads of sweat had appeared all over him, and these small beads of sweat all had a disgusting stench. My mortal chi is being forced out so quickly. These top-grade mortal ascension pills are a thousand times more effective than the pills I refined before. He, like this. I'll be able to fully expel my mortal chi within a month and condense a divine flame seed. Chu Kuang, I know your foundation. In a month, let's see just whose trump cards are stronger. I'll also get a look at how deep the foundation of a family with tens of thousands of years of history is. Long Chen clenched his fist. Continue. With his experience of the first refinement, the next refinement went even easier. After ten refinements, Long Chen could clearly feel that the power of the moon and star refining furnace had increased slightly. Refining pills was the fastest way for a pill furnace's item spirit to grow. The more pills that were refined, the higher their quality and the more effective the pill furnace became. Within a single incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen could refine eight furnaces of pills. Once he had refined over sixty furnaces of pills, his spiritual strength began to run out. So he quickly refined a furnace of soul-nourishing pills. An hour later, his spiritual strength was fully recovered, and he continued refining. With the next furnace of pills, he was shocked to find a star image appearing on the pills. A one-star top-grade pill. Long Chen was delighted. He hadn't gotten stronger, nor had Huo Long, but he had still refined a one-star top-grade pill. That could only mean that the moon and star refining furnace had gotten stronger. Based on the Pill Institute's reward system, disciples get a 10 million immortal crystal reward for refining a one-star top-grade pill, and they will have their name recorded in the list of geniuses. Novaloon.com Long Chen hesitated but shook his head. 10 million immortal crystals was an unimaginable amount to him right now, but he didn't urgently need money at this exact moment. He already had everything he needed to refine good pills for himself and he didn't want to become a fat pig to be slaughtered. Quietly growing and accumulating riches in silence was better. Long Chen gave up the thought of that reward and calmly refined pills. He then spent a whole day refining over 3,000 pills. Amongst them were over 30 that had reached the one-star top grade level. Such a crazy refinement severely taxed his mental energy. As he had a splitting headache, he quickly fell asleep. After sleeping for half a day, Long Chen once more refined two furnaces of pills. Then he had the moon and star refining furnace and Huo Long try refining pills by themselves in the primal chaos space. The moon and star refining furnace had accumulated a certain amount of power after so many refinements. However, 
This way, they needed to stop and rest after every two furnaces of pills. Furthermore, the better refinements resulted in top-grade pills, but the worse ones resulted in high-grade pills. There were no more one-star top-grade pills like when Long Chen refined with them. However, Long Chen didn't mind. If the Moon and Star Refining Furnace could refine pills on its own, then that could be considered its own kind of cultivation. In any case, the primal chaos space was filled with countless precious medicinal ingredients. It could refine as many as it wanted, and Long Chen could focus on what else he needed to do. Long Chen started devouring mortal ascension pills to the point that his body was almost unable to bear the amount of power. Only then did he stop. If someone else devoured as many pills as him, their body would instantly explode. But Long Chen only needed a break of a few hours before continuing. While he rested, he ran over to the Divine Scripture Pavilion. This time, he took a look at their divine abilities and battle skills. As he expected, there was a veritable sea of cultivation techniques and other abilities for the divine cultivation path. They were endless. Long Chen was searching for a technique that looked similar to the nine-star hegemon body art. It would be best if the manifestation that appeared when he went all out was similar. That way, it could cover up that he was a nine-star heir, and he wouldn't need to hold himself back when fighting. This is too much. I can only go bookshelf by bookshelf. Long Chen had no way to look through them one book at a time. He could only do as he did before and look through the entire shelves. Instructor Long Chen, that's not a good idea. Learning so many cultivation techniques and secret arts will damage your Tao Foundation and Yuan spirit, said a disciple who was perusing the shelves as well. All these disciples recognized him, hearing that he wanted to attempt such a thing. This disciple turned pale and hastily tried to stop him. Instructor Long Chen, many of these techniques have contradictory natures. Absorbing them at the same time will result in fiercer clashing and can easily result in a heart devil, said another disciple. There's such a thing, asked Long Chen. Yes, it's absolutely true, that disciple nodded. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. It seems that you two have come here quite a bit. Do you know if there's a kind of cultivation technique that causes a large ring of light to appear when used? One that looks very flashy. Yes, both those disciples nodded in unison. Chapter 2885-7 Supreme Yang Technique Instructor Long Chen. Take a look at this secret art. Is this what you're looking for? The two disciples brought Long Chen to an extremely remote corner. From a pile of tattered books, they pulled out one that was missing a whole piece. Long Chen looked. Tortoise Shell Divine Shield. When fighting others, you carry a giant tortoise shell. Are you trying to piss me off? Raged Long Chen. But, it really is. Very round. You can take a look. The disciples were embarrassed. One of them sent their spiritual strength inside of the tome. A blurry image then appeared on top of the book. It had a very round tortoise shell on its back. It raised a hand, and a tortoise shell also appeared there. After that, the front and back closed seamlessly, becoming a perfectly spherical shield. Instructor Long Chen, this place has many ancient tomes, and due to a lack of maintenance, they are missing portions. The academy doesn't have the power to restore them, so they are temporarily stored here so that they can be restored in the future. However, these are tomes recording techniques that are almost completely out of use. Some have the beginning but no end. Some have the end but no beginning. Some don't even have the center portion. However, a small number of people are capable of making a name out of themselves from just the starting portion. If it's not a foundational cultivation technique, you can still peruse and use them, said one of the disciples. Long Chen grabbed the book and sent his spiritual strength in. The technique to circulate his blood chi quickly then appeared in his mind. It wasn't difficult. It was a purely defensive technique with a portion missing. If he used it to cover up his divine star and star diagram, well, it wasn't impossible, but it was truly hard to bear carrying a tortoise shell around. In the end, Long Chen simply thanked them and sent them on their way. After that, he flipped through the tomes himself, seeing if there was something useful he could find. If he couldn't, then he would go back to his plan of going through them one bookshelf at a time. He felt that his powerful spiritual strength should be able to bear the impact. As he flipped through these damaged tomes, 
an image would appear in his mind whenever his spiritual strength entered one, displaying the technique's form and name. Some were very unclear, proving how damaged they were. Some were so badly damaged that they were useless. These were ancient records, so they would be perfect for Long Chen. If he could find an ancient technique that very few people recognized, he would be able to slip through other people's scrutiny easier. After two hours, he was practically drowning. His temper was starting to flare, and he was preparing to leave when one particular tome beneath his feet flickered ever so slightly. A ring of light then appeared on top of it. Surprised, Long Chen picked it up and sent his spiritual strength inside. A ring of light appeared in his mind. This ring had seven colors. Seven supreme yang technique? Ha ha ha, I found it. Long Chen was ecstatic. The divine ring of this technique was incredibly similar to his divine ring. However, it had seven colors, while Long Chen's had six colors. Long Chen closely examined it. This was a technique from the ancient era. Back then, it was the core treasure of the Seven Supreme Gate. The Seven Supreme Gate had been extremely famous back in the ancient era, with an inheritance stretching back almost 30,000 years. However, due to how long ago it was, much of the history had already become a legend. The Seven Supreme Yang technique was also lost in the flow of history. This technique was based on seven kinds of energy, metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning. In order to use this technique, a person had to possess all these seven kinds of energy. When people were born, they were born with innate talent, but if it wasn't discovered, it would be concealed. Perhaps if other attributes were too strong, some weaker attributes wouldn't manifest. However, the seven supreme yang technique would draw out all those seven kinds of energy and turn them into seeds to nourish. After that, seven acupuncture points were opened for the seven seeds to grow. That way, a person would come to possess seven kinds of different energy. An ordinary person would definitely face contradicting flows of energy with seven seeds of energy. That would turn a genius into a cripple. But the creator of the seven supreme yang technique blazed an entirely new kind of cultivation path, making those seven forms of energy form a mysterious formation inside the body. When it was activated, six forms of energy became fuel for only one kind of energy. When those streams of power merged, their power was astonishing. However, regretfully, this technique was now incomplete. The important method of how to transfer the streams of energy had been lost and only some profound diagrams were left behind. No one was able to rebuild this technique from those fragments. Thus, this tome had been thrown in here. When Long Chen looked at it, he instantly recognized it to be a simpler version of the nine-star hegemon body art. It was easy to understand. However, he had no choice but to admit that the creator of this technique truly possessed great wisdom and intelligence. Long Chen memorized it. It wasn't something very difficult. The divine ring can be covered up with this. Now I'll need something that imitates the six-star battle armor. Long Chen continued flipping through the books. But even after going through all of them, he didn't find anything suitable. He began going through the bookshelves. Just as those disciples said, it was far more difficult than memorizing the previous bookshelves he had gone through. Even after going through dozens of shelves and eating seven pills to recover his spiritual strength faster. He didn't find anything suitable. It had been a whole day by now. Other than the seven supreme yang technique, he didn't gain anything. The God Institute's cultivation techniques were all based on divine abilities to activate one's power, summoning a manifestation that caused heaven and earth's power to support oneself. However, most of them didn't cause a manifestation that appeared outside of the body. Most were inside of the body. I might spend a whole month like this without finding what I want. I should take a look at the Immortal Institute. Long Chen left the Divine Scripture Pavilion and took a transportation formation. When he appeared in the Immortal Institute, quite a few disciples stared at him in shock. It was very rare for disciples of these two opposing institutes to set foot into enemy territory. However, Long Chen's fame was known even within the Immortal Institute. His black robes were far too conspicuous. Long Chen, what have you come to the Immortal Institute for? We do not welcome you here. Long Chen eyed the speaker, and the latter looked to be the very picture of a spoiled brat. Presumably, 
He came from the faction opposing Luo Bing and Luo Ning, or he wouldn't have spoken to him like this. If you don't want to die, scram. If you do want to die, come over here, Long Chen. Do you think that this place is the God Institute? Do you think you can bully the Immortal Institute? Immortals, a dog of the God Institute had come to act arrogant in front of our Immortal Institute. That disciple suddenly shouted loudly, courting death. Long Chen shot forward like an arrow. That disciple turned to flee, but he had barely taken a step before Long Chen grabbed his throat. A rain of slaps then pelted his face. Chapter 2886 Soul Lock Heart Interrogation That person screamed like a pig being slaughtered. Long Chen slapped him 36 times in a row, but he was so fast that it sounded like a single slap. As a result, that person's face swelled up like a pig's, and a pretty white face instantly became a pig head. His face was purple and looked like it might explode. Long Chen was instantly surrounded by disciples of the Immortal Institute. This was his first time in the Immortal Institute, and he was surprised to see that the Immortal Institute's people outnumbered the God Institute. He was instantly surrounded by a thousand disciples. Long Chen, what are you doing? After running rampant in the God Institute, do you think you can do the same thing in the Immortal Institute? Do you think no one in the Academy can put you in your place? They all recognized Long Chen. After all, the matter of Crescent Moon Valley had blown up, and the Immortal Institute Luo Bing and Luo Ning were also implicated. Long Chen, you're even more arrogant than the rumors. What? Do you plan on challenging the entire Immortal Institute on your own? This person was rather sinister, hiding amongst the crowd. Long Chen was originally going to explain himself, but seeing so many people targeting him, he narrowed his eyes. He didn't bother. Clearly, these people had intentionally come to cause trouble for him. Explaining would be meaningless, and it would only make the other side press harder. In his mind, he wondered about this situation. If Luo Bing was ranked first and Luo Ning was ranked fifth on their immortal rankings, shouldn't the forces that they controlled be very powerful? Why were none of their people standing out here? The crafty speaker's vision suddenly darkened as a figure smashed into him. That figure was the man whose face Long Chen had slapped into a pig's head. The two of them coughed up blood together when they crashed into each other. There was also the sound of bones breaking. The two of them then lay on the ground, moaning in pain and unable to get back up. If you want to play, let's play. Don't take your life as a joke. I, Boss Long San, am not some good person. Don't test my bottom line with your life unless you're prepared to lose it. I'm here to find Luo Bing and don't have time to waste on your idiocy. If anyone doesn't like it, Long Chen suddenly raised his status plate. Then I welcome you to challenge me to a life and death duel at any time. Even if you all come at me together, I will agree. When he mentioned the life and death duel, those disciples instantly shut their mouths. They dared to curse at others, but they didn't dare to bring out their lives. Other than beating and killing people, what else can you do? If you have that much ability, why don't you go challenge the Dean? Sneered someone hiding in the crowd. His voice floated, making it impossible to pinpoint where it was coming from. Clearly, he was afraid of being caught by Long Chen, so he was hiding in the crowd. However, Long Chen sneered. Only someone filled with a sense of inferiority would hide in the crowd to do shameful things. Slandering others lets you satisfy the darkness in your heart. That voice once more rang out. You talk like you're so superior, you little gigolo. You aren't skilled in other things, but those sisters Luo Bing and Luo Ning have probably been played with by you die. Long Chen suddenly roared thunderously, shaking everyone's ears and causing their vision to flicker. They almost collapsed. With this one roar, their souls almost fled from their bodies. They instantly turned pale. Ah, suddenly, a sharp-mouthed monkey-faced man clenched his head in pain. His eyes were bulging as if they were going to explode. He was filled with terror and rolled on the ground, clutching his head, screaming. He had been the one hiding in the crowd, unleashing his voice with a special technique to cover his position. With this one roar, his soul was thrown into chaos. The disciples of the Immortal Institute were all terrified by that one shout, unable to make a sound. Long Chen, why have you come here, just at this moment? Luo Bing and Luo Ning came over with a group of people. They jumped in shock when they saw the situation. 
At the same time, disciples wearing law enforcement robes walked over, but when they saw Long Chen, they almost cried and left. That was a Yama king that couldn't be offended. Even the dean was someone he dared to joke about, and a magistrate was forced to bow and apologize to him during his trial. Even crazier, hundreds of inner academy disciples were killed, and two four-peak experts were executed because of him. But the person who caused all this was still living happily and freely. Now, who dared to provoke him? These law enforcement disciples didn't even know what to do. They just stood there silently and couldn't even bother to ask any questions. In any case, they couldn't manage this, so they had to wait for bigwigs to come. Very quickly, two elders of the Immortal Institute arrived. They saw Long Chen, as well as the disciples lying on the ground. One of them pressed a finger against the forehead of the monkey-faced disciple and cried out in shock. So Lockhart interrogation art, the elder furiously demanded, Long Chen, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Asked Long Chen. You came to the Immortal Institute and injured our disciples, and now you dare to ask me what I'm doing, raged the elder. I came to the Immortal Institute to teach. It was your disciples who repeatedly provoked me with their curses, so I gave them a lesson. You ask me what I'm doing? Do I need to ask you for permission before giving lessons? Are all the Immortal Institute's disciples blind and deaf? When did I become a disciple of the Immortal Institute in their eyes? I have two statuses, one as a disciple of the Pill Institute, and the other as an instructor of the God Institute. Let me ask you, whether it is in the Pill Institute, the God Institute, the Immortal Institute, or any other institute, if a disciple insults an instructor for no reason, doesn't the instructor have the right to protect their own dignity sneered Long Chen. You, the elder was stunned. The High Firmament Academy did not allow people to randomly insult its instructors. If they couldn't even protect the dignity of their instructors, how could they make the disciples take their lessons? A master must be revered. That was basic. Hence, Long Chen's words dumbfounded the disciples of the Immortal Institute. They had actually forgotten his status as an instructor. Now they had all been beaten for nothing. Furthermore, they would be punished for such a thing. Instructor Long Chen, they truly only have themselves to blame, but this person's soul lock heart interrogation said the elder, that lock is his own, it has nothing to do with me, while he cursed me, he was only thinking of despicable things, my spiritual roar then drew out his heart devil, that is reasonable self-defense, so I did nothing wrong, this person's heart is dark, and he brought this trouble onto himself, as for his life or death. It has nothing to do with me, said Long Chen. He turned to the law enforcement disciples. Bring away these outrageous brats who dare to insult an instructor. Hand them to the Discipline Institute. I want a satisfactory conclusion within three days. After saying that, he ignored them all and walked over to Luo Ning. Let's go. I came to hold a class for you. Chapter 2887 Blood Spirit Bone Armor Hold a Class? Luo Bing instantly understood. If he was provoked on his way to teach, it would be fundamentally different than if he was provoked while just on a stroll. All right. Luo Bing didn't know why Long Chen had come here, but this wasn't the place to discuss it. Hence, she then walked away with Long Chen. Hold it. Suddenly, an extremely thin and tall person walked out of the crowd. Even his hands and feet were long like a stretched out person. Long Chen couldn't help being startled when he looked at him. This person possessed a strange aura, and it was vaguely demonic. He is Gu Fei, ranked 2 on the Immortal Rankings. He's extremely powerful. I haven't exchanged blows with him in half a year, but I can tell he's only grown stronger. I don't know if I can still beat him, whispered Luo Bing into Long Chen's ear. So another person acting like the pig to eat the tiger, said Long Chen. What Luo Bing and Luo Ning were shocked. They instantly thought of Chu Kuang. Was this Gu Fei the same? He was concealing his true power? Gu Fei walked out with a group of people, and Long Chen eyed them. All of them had suppressed auras. Even from a distance, Long Chen could smell the scent of medicinal pills. So he shook his head inside. Luo Bing was probably going to lose the immortal competition on her side. There were several fellows here whose auras were extremely powerful. They might be able to conceal it from others, 
but they couldn't conceal it from the senses of the nine-star hegemon body art. They were using medicinal pills to suppress their auras and make their opponents lower their guard. But when Luo Bing and the others confidently faced them in battle, they would unleash their full power and crush them in an instant. This would shatter Luo Bing's group mentally. If the other side took advantage of this moment to say some provoking words, they could even rattle their Dao hearts and give rise to a heart devil. Instructor Long Chen, you said just now that you had two statuses. One is a Pill Institute disciple, while the other is an instructor of the God Institute. When the disciples provoke you, they must be punished. But you have publicly admitted that you will be joining the divine competition. If you are joining it, you are a disciple of the God Institute. For you to come here under the guise of your instructor status is shirking responsibility, don't you think? Said Gu Fei. Although he used a courteous tone, his gaze was filled with clear hostility. That's right. You're joining the divine competition. So you're a disciple of the God Institute. Yet you dare to bring out your instructor status to suppress others here. The God Institute's people grow more and more shameless sneered one of the disciples beside Gu Fei. After that, Long Chen's palm slapped across his face, causing such a giant explosive sound that everyone jumped. That disciple shot back like a cannonball, slamming into a giant stone pillar. Half his face was a bloody mess, but the thing that shocked everyone was that there were bone-like runes on top of that side of his face. Those runes were what blocked a portion of Long Chen's slap. Otherwise, his head would have exploded. Blood spirit bone armor. Luo Ning cried out in shock. How can he have trained in the blood spirit bone armor? Exclaimed the disciples beside Luo Ning. The blood spirit bone armor was a very famous defensive art inside of the Immortal Institute. Using blood essence and bone runes, one could freely activate a layer of defense. It was a practical technique, especially on battlefields where you had to exchange injuries. You might be able to defend freely with this one move, while your opponent would be killed. This slap had actually exposed the trump card of this disciple, stunning Luo Ning and the others. This person was nothing more than rank 26 on their rankings. He wasn't remarkable at all. Luo Bing couldn't even recall his name. However, such an unremarkable person had silently mastered such a powerful defensive art. Then the others. Luo Ning didn't dare to imagine it. Let me repeat myself. If you want to play, let's play. Don't think that you can play with your lives just because you have some blood spirit bone armor. Even if you had an undying Vajra body, I could still slap you to death. I said that I would participate in the divine competition, but the list hasn't been handed in yet. In other words, I am still not a disciple of the God Institute and am still an instructor. Whoever doesn't like it can step forward. Boss Long San has roamed the world for over 20 years and has specialized in medicine for all kinds of ailments. Gu Fei's expression sank. He had forgotten this point. If Long Chen hadn't made any official application to join the divine competition, then he still couldn't count as a disciple of the God Institute. Just at this moment, the disciple that Long Chen had slapped coughed up a mouthful of blood and slowly slid down the pillar, leaving a long bloody line. It was a somewhat alarming sight. Sorry to you too. I'm not intentionally provoking the Immortal Institute, but some people do things that make me feel bad if I don't give them a beating. Since I still have things to do, I'll take my leave. I'll treat you to a drink another day. Long Chen cupped his fists to the two elders who were awkwardly standing there. The two of them only replied in kind. Only then did Long Chen leave with Luo Bing and the others. Gu Fei stared at his back hatefully. This Long Chen is too arrogant someone helped the disciple that had been slapped. But the latter was already unconscious. The state of his face was quite frightening and the person supporting him couldn't help shouting angrily. Long Chen, is it? Just wait. You will regret this. Gu Fei spat out some vicious words and turned to leave with his people. Hold it. You can bring him away but not the others. The law enforcement disciples stopped them. Gu Fei was actually planning on leaving with the others who had been injured this time as well. What? Are you not afraid of Alliance Head Gu Fei finding trouble for you in the future? cursed one of the disciples. That law enforcement disciple smiled. I'm afraid. How could I not be? But I'm even more afraid of instructor Long Chen. He has said that these three must be sent to the Discipline Institute. 
We must send them, or we'd have failed in our duty. As for this brother, Instructor Long Chen didn't say anything about him, so we won't bring him. If you stop us from taking them away, I'll shout for Instructor Long Chen to come back. Decide whether you want us to bring away three people or four people. You, you're courting death, raged one of those disciples. The law enforcement disciples actually dared to act so tough in front of them today. That's enough. Suddenly, the two elders shouted coldly, Everything will be done according to the rules. Do you think the two of us are nothing more than empty air? Don't think that your own little connections are enough for you to do whatever you please. I'd advise you to reserve yourselves a bit. Don't die like those inner academy disciples of the God Institute. At that time, your lives would simply be exchanged for immortal crystals. These disciples were actually ignoring the two of them, enraging them. Hence, after shouting at them, both of them left. Gu Fei could only watch as those law enforcement disciples carried away the three people that Long Chen had slapped. Although those three were not exactly trusted aides, it was still a slap to his face that he couldn't protect them, especially since it was in front of so many people. Long Chen, just wait. You will pay the price for your arrogance. Gu Fei clenched his teeth and led his people away. Chapter 2888 Immortal Institute Instructor Exam Long Chen why have you suddenly come here? You didn't send us word ahead of time. If you had, things wouldn't have blown up like this, said Luo Bing. Luo Bing had set up a special method to communicate with Mu Qingyan. If Long Chen had simply messaged them through it beforehand, none of this would have happened. I'm not afraid of trouble. Time is pressing, and I came because I have something important to discuss. Today just so happens to be the day of the Immortal Institute instructor exam. Use your connections to get me a spot, said Long Chen. You want to become an instructor of the Immortal Institute? Luo Bing couldn't believe her ears. What kind of time was it for Long Chen to waste time on this? Yes, hurry and arrange it. If I don't make it, I'll have to wait a month, said Long Chen. But the Immortal Institute's exam just signed me up for now. Leave the rest to me said Long Chen. Luo Bing helplessly sent someone to arrange this. The result was that they really were too late. The last spot had been taken. Fortunately, amongst them was one of Luo Bing's people, and that person gave up their spot to Long Chen. Long Chen, will you really be all right? You should know that the exam is completely different from the God Institutes, said Luo Bing worriedly. To me, these are all minor affairs. Isn't it just about control of spiritual strength and mental energy? As for hand seal techniques, I'm extremely familiar with them. Don't worry, as long as no one targets me, I guarantee that I'll pass. If there is someone targeting me, that would be even better. I'll beat them until I pass. Oh, it's starting, so I can't talk for now. I'm going in. Oh, you can give this to that brother as compensation. Long Chen tossed something to Luo Bing and rushed off. Luo Bing shook her head. Long Chen always acted mysteriously. She then looked at the thing that Long Chen had given her and suddenly jumped. A top grade soul nourishing pill. She couldn't believe her eyes. Long Chen had actually handed over a top grade soul nourishing pill? Such a thing was practically impossible to find. This kind of pill was often used by the Pill Institute's disciples, and most of them could only use low grade pills. Using middle grade pills would be luxurious and those capable of using high-grade pills were definitely as rare as a phoenix feather or killin horn. Even Luo Bing only used middle-grade soul-nourishing pills Noveloon.com This top-grade soul-nourishing pill was something that she had only heard of but never seen. Such a pill was worth tens of thousands of immortal crystals. Who could afford to repeatedly use them? A top-grade soul-nourishing pill can not only nourish the soul all the way to its deepest core but also stimulate it to grow once more. Strengthening the spiritual strength. Long Chen's quite generous, sighed Luo Bing. This fellow tosses it out like it is nothing, while others treat every single one as a treasure. Has this fellow suddenly struck gold? Or did he sell that heavenly flame seed? Guessed Luo Ning. Luo Bing handed the top grade soul nourishing pill to that disciple, but the latter directly said that he didn't want it. Luo Bing had no choice but to keep it for now, with everyone else. She went to the exam hall to await the results. Luo Ning whispered, Big sister, do you think that Long Chen will pass? 
Luo Bing shook her head. It's difficult to say. According to reason, the God Institute's exam should be focused on the essence and qi, as that's the foundation of using divine abilities, as well as their future development. But the Immortal Institute focuses on the qi and spirit. If the essence is too strong, it results in the qi growing while the spirit deteriorates. That's why the Immortal Institute's disciples mock the God Institute's disciples for being simple-headed, while they mock us for having weak bodies. Long Chen's body is like a wild dragon, and his blood qi is terrifying. He's clearly a genius of the God path, but such powerful qi and essence will definitely limit his spirit. I don't really think he has a high chance of passing. Furthermore, once the divine flame is ignited, the two follow completely different paths. I really can't understand why he would make such a fuss just to get into the Immortal Institute as an instructor. Just at this moment, the sound of a bell rang out. It resounded three times, stunning Luo Ning. What's going on? Isn't it just one ring of the bell when the trial ends? Did the ringer get hit in the head? Three strikes represent that someone passed with full marks, said Luo Bing. Just at this moment, Long Chen and a group of people walked out. Long Chen had a pleasant smile. He then cupped his fists toward Luo Bing and the others. Thanks to everyone's blessing, I passed with full marks. Luo Bing's eyes widened. She couldn't believe it. But Long Chen was with the examiners and the disciples who had come to take the test. And they were all looking at him like he was a monster. Are we all fools? Big sister. We forgot that Long Chen is also a Pill Institute disciple. Luo Ning suddenly slapped her leg. Only then did Luo Bing recover and bitterly smile. That was right. He was a Pill Institute disciple. Without powerful spiritual strength and mental energy, how could he refine pills? Long Chen's essence, qi, and spirit are all so powerful? Isn't it said that the heavens are imperfect, and humans all have advantages and disadvantages? You can only have two of the three talents. How can Long Chen be so strong in all three? Luo Bing stared at Long Chen's pleased smile with shock and bewilderment. Just at this moment, another group of people walked out of the hall, and the disciples cried out in shock. Heaven Master Dong Ming. Heavens. Even Heaven Master Dong Ming has been disturbed. Heaven Master Dong Ming is the head of the Immortal Institute's four Heaven Masters. I heard that he hasn't revealed himself in over ten years, but he's actually come out now. These disciples hastily bowed reverently toward this new group. Young friend Long Chen, this old man has been constantly hearing your stories for the past two months. You actually came to the Immortal Institute though. No matter what, I won't let you go. Yun Yang is far too stingy, requiring a whole trial just for a set of robes. This old man is far more magnanimous. There's no need for a trial. You can directly take your status plate. Heaven Master Dong Ming walked over to Long Chen with a bright smile. It was like he had discovered a treasure. Then many thanks senior. I'm extremely reverent. Long Chen also hadn't expected to disturb a heaven rank instructor the very first day he came to the Immortal Institute. Furthermore, this elder's eyes were clear and bright. His words fully matched his spiritual fluctuations. He was a direct and sincere person who said what he thought. You even dared to point and curse at the three bigwigs of the Discipline Institute. Do you think that I'll believe those words? Ha ha ha, little fellow. Properly grow in my immortal institute. I'll give you the best benefits. To tell you the truth. Last time I drank with Yan Yang. That fellow was so pleased that you fell into his hands that it irritated me. Little fellow. I won't beat around the bush. I'm happy you came to the immortal institute. At the very least. I won't have to see that old fellow Yun Yang show off in the future. If you encounter any difficulty in the Immortal Institute, you can come find me. As long as it's not against the Academy's laws or rules, this old man will definitely help you resolve it. Promised Heaven Master Dong Ming. Long Chen suddenly came to an understanding. It seemed that Heaven Master Dong Ming was old friends with Heaven Master Yun Yang. Although his tone did contain a trace of competitiveness. Long Chen could also tell that Heaven Master Dong Ming only treated him so well due to Heaven Master Yun Yang. Many thanks. Then could this little one take a look at the Immortal Scripture Pavilion? Long Chen cupped his fists and directly got to his goal. 
the Immortal Scripture Pavilion, Chapter 2889 Starry River of the Sky Art Inside the Immortal Scripture Pavilion, Long Chen found that the layout was exactly the same as in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. Most of the contents were even identical. Only the cultivation and secret art tomes were different. Heaven Master Dong Ming truly showed him special consideration. He directly gave Long Chen his instructor badge and even dispatched an elder who had been overseeing the pavilion for many years to help him. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking of having Luo Bing help him find a suitable immortal art. But with that elder present, he quickly found over 10 immortal arts related to Astral Energy Novaloon.com Falling Star Sword, Heavenly Star Slash, Endless Stars Fall from the Nine Heavens. Long Chen looked through them one by one. None of these fit the nine star hegemon body art. They couldn't conceal it. Long Chen could only ask the elder to help him look through the damaged tomes. However, the elder didn't find anything suitable there either. Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. If he couldn't conceal the nine star hegemon body art, he wouldn't be able to unleash his full power. Although he looked down on Chu Kuang, he had no choice but to admit that Chu Kuang was very powerful. He hid his power deeply. If Long Chen couldn't fully use all six stars, he really wasn't confident in being able to defeat Chu Kuang. There is one immortal art that is very similar to your specifications. This immortal art is called the Starry River of the Sky Art. It was created by the Starry River Saint, and it is extremely domineering. It is said that 9 out of 10 people who train in it die. Although it does exist in the Immortal Institute, it is classified as a forbidden art, said the elder. Can I take a look at it? Asked Long Chen. It's a forbidden art. I need to ask for the Heaven Master's permission. Only once it passes through a certain process can I give you a real response, said the elder apologetically. Will that take a long time? Asked Long Chen. No, I'll go get in touch with the Heaven Master right now, said the elder. He directly left, leaving Long Chen alone. It truly was fast. In just an incense stick's worth of time, he returned with an ancient tome and handed it to Long Chen with a smile. Instructor Long Chen, you're truly lucky. The Heaven Master actually went to find the Institute head personally, gaining you the authority to take the first scroll of the Starry River of the Sky Art. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised and moved by this. He hadn't expected Heaven Master Dong Ming to really be so helpful. Hence, he remembered this favor in his heart. Wait a moment. You said the first scroll? So this isn't the complete technique? Asked Long Chen. Yes. This is a very deep cultivation technique. And it has three scrolls. The first scroll might be considered to be only introductory. But it is shockingly difficult to grasp. Furthermore, training in it is fraught with dangers. Many people have spent a lifetime without being able to master it. If they rush and recklessly advance with it, they might end up instantly bedeviled or blown up. That's why the Heaven Master told me to explain all the pros and cons to you clearly, said the Elder cautiously. After that, Long Chen's spiritual strength entered the ancient tome, and information poured into his head. When he understood the principle of this technique, he was delighted. The starry river of the sky art used the astral energy inside of the body to connect with the astral energy of the heavens, manifesting a formation that used the astral energy of the world. An ordinary person only had a single astral space inside of their body, with it as the seed. Utilizing so much astral energy was truly very dangerous. Using the power of the soul to condense a formation and then using the astral space as a core to draw in the astral energy of the cosmos. If you were lacking spiritual strength, there was no way to do such a thing. However, if you drew in just slightly too much astral energy, it would cause the astral space inside of the body to explode. The cultivator would be directly blown up. Furthermore, when condensing the formation, the mind went on a mental journey outside of the heavens. It would be distracted by demons attempting to invade the soul. If a heart devil formed from this, the spiritual strength would go out of control. It wouldn't be a body explosion this time but instead a soul ignition that burnt the soul away until there was nothing left. It could be said that it was an extremely unconventional technique. No one knew how the creator had managed to create such a thing. However, after creating it, he didn't leave behind a single disciple to carry on his legacy. 
it was because all his disciples died. Later on, this technique was recorded and spread widely. The starry sky saint didn't wish for his life's work, this peerless immortal ability, to be forgotten just like that. Thus, this was no secret art. Many people knew of it, but all the large sects treated it as a forbidden technique that disciples were not allowed to practice. Throughout history, some geniuses had managed to cultivate this technique. They made astonishing advancements, sweeping through those in the same realm. However, in the middle of their cultivation, most of them died. No one was able to cultivate it to the later stages. That was why it was split into three scrolls. The first scroll could be studied by everyone, but the second and third scrolls couldn't be taken out for fear that people would be bedeviled and unable to extricate themselves, ending up with them losing their lives to the Yellow Springs. There were far too many cases of people dying miserable deaths while cultivating this technique. In comparison, the first scroll was dangerous, but the danger was at least limited. That was why Heaven Master Dong Mian could directly give Long Chen the first scroll. Long Chen studied it and sighed in admiration. The immortal world was filled with geniuses. Someone had actually managed to create such a refined technique. At this moment, Long Chen slowly formed hand seals, and tiny balls of light began to appear in his palm. Those balls of light were like specks of light. As his spiritual strength controlled things, those specks of light slowly grew brighter. This was the star diagram formation. After condensing the formation, he then sent his own astral space to the center of the formation, using his astral energy to draw in the astral energy of the heavens. The elder was surprised to see that Long Chen was able to easily condense the star diagram after just a read. He was truly a monster. Did he learn it with just a look? How was that possible? The small star diagram in Long Chen's hand moved like flowing sand, revolving within his hand absolutely naturally. At this moment, Long Chen's smile grew. When it came to controlling astral energy, who could compare to him? Ever since one of his 108,000 stars was crushed, his star diagram had come alive and contained the changes of millions of manifestations. The first scroll of the Starry River of the Sky Art only contained a few simple changes that were far too easy for Long Chen. He circulated through them as easily as turning a hand. After memorizing the first scroll of the Starry River of the Sky Art, he said his thanks to the Elder and left. Luo Ning was already waiting for him at the exit. How was it? Did you find what you wanted? asked Luo Ning. He, yes, it's even better than what I expected. Let's go. I have good stuff for you and your big sister. Long Chen laughed delightedly. With the Seven Supreme Yang technique and the Starry River of the Sky Art, he no longer needed to hold back. Chu Kuang, are you ready? Ba San hasn't gotten some proper exercise in a long time. Chapter 2890 Blood Merging Soul Calling Pill Long Chen, you said you had something good for us? What is it? You can tell us now, right? Long Chen, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning were sitting in a private room. Luo Ning had asked Long Chen this question repeatedly on the way here, but he refused to say. That vexed her a lot especially with her impatient nature. I remember that your Luo family has a kind of immortal path bloodline called the Violet Spirit Sacred Blood. Is that correct? asked Long Chen. Yes, our Luo family has a special bloodline. Once activated, it can unleash limitless power. However, Luo Ning's expression grew helplessly. Long Chen smiled. The Violet Spirit Sacred Blood's activation can be split into multiple steps. Right now, you haven't even activated the first step. Thus, unless you reach the point of no return, you don't dare to activate it in battle, as this will result in backlash with every activation. If it's light, your bloodline might regress, but a serious backlash will result in your spirit blood drying up. You might even die right there and then. Am I right? Luo Bing and Luo Ning nodded. These things were not secret. The Luo family's bloodline was special and for Long Chen to be aware of this wasn't odd. Luo Bing, extend your hand, said Long Chen. Luo Bing stretched out her hand, but seeing Long Chen also reach out his hand, her expression grew unnatural. However, she still gave him her hand. Long Chen smiled. Don't worry, I would only use shameless methods against someone whose mind is full of dirty thoughts. For a kind person like you, 
How could I even think of taking advantage? He knew that Luo Bing had thought back to the trial hall when he had tricked Luo Ning into giving him her hand. Now Luo Bing didn't know if he was being serious or messing around again. You're the one with dirty thoughts. Luo Ning glared at Long Chen, knowing that he was cursing her in a roundabout manner. Long Chen then pressed three fingers on Luo Bing's wrist, but not like a physician checking their patient's pulse. He was checking her bloodline fluctuations. In truth, placing the hand on the chest was the most direct method of doing this, but if Long Chen suggested such a thing, first ignoring whether or not Luo Bing would ascend, Luo Ning would probably slash him directly. Your bloodline power is very strong, and your bloodline is very pure. Why are you unable to activate it? Asked Long Chen curiously. Luo Bing's bloodline power was like a drawn bow. Immense power was contained within every fluctuation. Once it was released, its power would definitely be astonishing. For her to not activate this bloodline power, it was like trapping a young eagle in its egg. It was unable to grow past its first growth phase. I need to return to the family to activate it with the Divine Pool's baptism. However, the Chu family's sinister plots have managed to cause some problems with the Divine Pool. Its holy water has become scarce and can only be given to those with the greatest talent. I still have to wait a while until it's my turn. If I could activate my Violet Spirit Sacred Blood, I wouldn't be in such a miserable state, said Luo Bing a bit helplessly. Long Chen now understood. So this was why there was such a gap between Luo Bing and Chu Kuang's combat power. It seemed that the Chu family was truly skillful at schemes. It was to the extent that the Luo family even had their foundation affected. Long Chen said, I came precisely for this matter. I have a way to activate your Violet Spirit Sacred Blood. Impossible. Luo Bing and Luo Ning exclaimed together. The requirements to activate the Luo family's bloodline were extremely special and specific. They needed the secret technique passed down from generation to generation. I'm telling you that I can do it. I made two pills that can activate your bloodline. Long Chen took out two medicinal pills with divine light flowing within them. There was a star revolving inside of them according to a special rhythm. A one star top grade pill. Someone who can refine a one star top grade pill would be an elder in the pill institute. Long Chen, how did you refine such a thing? Luo Bing and Luo Ning couldn't believe their eyes. Long Chen solemnly said, at this time. It seems that I no longer have to conceal my status. I'll tell you the truth. I originally wanted to just be a normal person, but you've also seen that even when I want to be Loki, my power doesn't permit it. I'm actually a reincarnated expert. In my past life, I was a sage of the Pill Dao and stood at the very peak of it. I refined all things within heaven and earth, the stars, the sun, and the moon. I roamed the nine heavens and ten lands. Slaying endless demons, ghosts, monsters. Cough. What are you two looking at me like that for? Are you doubting my words? Even the dignified Luo Bing was looking at him disdainfully. Luo Ning said, You misunderstand. We're not doubting your words. We don't believe them at all. Long Chen was bragging so wildly that it was simply nonsense. What reincarnated expert would act so ridiculously without the slightest mannerism of an expert? Fine. If you don't believe me, whatever. In any case, these pills were refined by me. They are called the blood merging soul calling pill. You won't find such a pill in the pill institute. I got the formula from an old man selling dog skin plaster medicine. And I traded two wine bottles and the bottom of a shoe to get it. Its origins are completely trustworthy. So don't worry. Luo Ning, you can eat it first and have Luo Bing protect you. I'll wait for you outside. If something bad happens, you can call me at any time. Long Chen walked out and closed the door. Now it was just Luo Bing and Luo Ning sitting inside the room. Luo Ning looked at the two pills. Big sister, do you really think this thing can be consumed? That fellow's words are always puzzling. I don't know what is true and what is false. This Long Chen spouts nonsense for small things, but he hasn't messed around with major things. I trust that he won't trick us over this. I'll try it first. You protect me, said Luo Bing. No, I'll go first. Luo Ning didn't give Luo Bing a chance to argue. She directly consumed one of the two pills. As soon as it entered her throat, she shivered. It's cold. She felt like she had swallowed ice. 
The coldness spread throughout her whole body in an instant, and she felt like she was almost frozen. This coldness had just appeared when her almost frozen blood began to heat up. Following that, tremendous power exploded. Luo Ning's clothes were blown apart, and violet mist started coming out of her skin, covering her entire body. That violet mist then grew denser and denser until it condensed into violet strands in the air, slowly wrapping around her body. Bloodline condensing cocoon. Brilliance reserved. Luo Bing stared in shock. Just what kind of pill had Long Chen given them? The highest grade bloodline spirit awakening phenomenon had appeared. Even if the Luo family's divine pool was fine, considering their talent, the two of them couldn't possibly enjoy the highest level bloodline spirit awakening. Suddenly, the cocoon around Luo Ning ignited and violet flames soared. After that, bloodline power pulsed throughout his body. Long Chen, just what kind of existence are you? Luo Bing was completely dumbfounded when she saw this phenomenon. Chapter 2891 Paving a Path The Spirit Awakening The first step in activating their bloodline normally required several days. But now, it was completed in just a short hour. Luo Ning had succeeded in the spirit awakening of her bloodline, so her entire aura had changed. Light glinted from within her eyes with a deep power. Big sister, Luo Ning cried out emotionally. However, Luo Bing indicated for her to be quiet while pointing outside. She meant that Long Chen was still outside. Hence, Luo Ning hastily put on her clothes, as her old clothes had been blasted apart by the eruption of her blood chi. After putting on new clothes, she was still excited. Big sister, I feel completely reborn. You have to try it too. That fellow Long Chen really is amazing. Luo Bing nodded and consumed the remaining pill. But with Luo Ning showing the way, she first took off her clothes before starting the spirit awakening. As a result, she took a full two hours to complete the spirit awakening. When she finally opened her eyes, Luo Ning cried out excitedly, Big sister, a violet dragon mark appeared in your eyes. It's the sign of the ancestral bloodline awakening really Luo Bing herself was shocked and hastily took out a mirror. Deep in her eyes, there was a violet mark. It was feigned but it was definitely there. This is amazing. Big sister, you can now be classified as a peak genius of the family. You can enjoy the special treatment of a peak genius exclaimed Luo Ning, practically dancing. I have to call Long Chen in and thank him properly. Luo Ning turned around, causing Luo Bing to jump and drag her back. You foolish girl. I'm still not wearing anything. Luo Bing was speechless. This little sister of hers was always so impatient and didn't think things through. Once she put on her clothes, she said, We owe Long Chen a huge debt this time. I don't even know how we're supposed to repay him. Make sure to be more polite to him. It's rude to quarrel with someone who has given you such a favor. These two medicinal pills were absolute supreme treasures. Even Luo Bing had never seen or heard of such a thing. What kind of medicinal pill could have such an effect? Long Chen said that he had refined the pills, but Luo Bing didn't believe it. Although she didn't know where he had gotten them, she was filled with gratitude. But at the same time, she felt the pressure. What else? Doesn't he have intentions toward us? We can just marry him together, said Luo Ning casually. You foolish girl. You can't even tell when he's joking. He only looks at you like a child. It's the same for me and Mu Qingyan. He doesn't have those feelings said Luo Bing. I don't believe it. He might not like me, but it's impossible for him to not like you. Unless he isn't a man, said Luo Ning decisively. In her eyes, her big sister was the most beautiful existence. Someone that no man could resist, let alone within the academy, even within their family. She was a famous beauty ever since she was a child. It was unknown how many people had pursued her. As Luo Ning had always remained by her big sister's side as a bodyguard, she no longer found such a thing odd. In all these years, she hadn't seen a single man not attracted to Luo Bing, so she was even more confident in her sister's beauty than her own. You really are hopeless. Although Long Chen is from the lower world, he has seen more things than we have. That's what tempered his character. Furthermore, when it comes to beauty, who can compare to the Academy's number one beauty? Side Luo Bing, you're talking about the dean's granddaughter, Bei Shishi, who is first on the heaven tier immortal rankings, asked Luo Ning. 
Other than her, who else? Is she really so beautiful? Yes, to a kind of pinnacle that makes others forget to breathe. She is the true beauty. The moon hides itself before her, and flowers are ashamed to be in her presence. Even birds and beasts are envious of her beauty. Furthermore, there is a kind of noble temperament around her, making it feel like just looking at her is blasphemous. I once saw her, although it was just a moment, it was unforgettable. Ah, that's not really the topic to discuss. Colin Long Chen, we have to thank him, said Luo Bing. The two of them opened the door just in time to see Long Chen toss a mouthful of pills into his mouth. Although they didn't see it clearly, they all had a layer of light around them. It seemed that they were all top grade. He ate top grade pills like snacks? The two sisters turned to stone. This was too crazy, wasn't it? Once they were back inside the room, Long Chen once more felt their bloodline fluctuations. My medicinal pills are a bit too violent for your bodies. Your meridians have been injured by the fierceness. However, this damage isn't a bad thing either. As your spirit blood heals itself, it will widen your meridians. I should warn you not to indiscriminately eat medicinal pills if you sense this later. Don't cultivate or fight within the next three days. Just let your body recover naturally after saying that. His expression grew solemn. I hope that you can keep the matter of me refining pills secret. In the academy, other than you two, no one else knows I can refine pills like this. Although I'm not afraid of trouble, I would prefer it if I can be more low-key while I have yet to stabilize here. Luo Ning and Luo Bing's hearts quivered. He was truly saying that he had refined his own pills. If that was true, then, Luo Bing struggled with herself for a moment, but she couldn't help saying, Long Chen. I know that a person should know not to push too far, but as a disciple of the Luo family, I must shamelessly say this, if you can refine these pills, then if you are willing, you can form a collaboration with the Luo family, you can set any price for these pills, of course, if you are unwilling, we two sisters will swear on the heavens that a third person will not know this secret, Luo Bing's face felt burning hot when she asked this. These two pills that Long Chen had given them were already a tremendous kindness. For her to ask for more, was that not going too far? However, the effect of this pill was just too miraculous. If the Luo family could obtain a steady supply of these pills, their current emergency would be resolved. It was too important for her not to ask. Luo Bing and Luo Ning almost couldn't look at Long Chen after making such a request. But Long Chen laughed. With our relationship. That's just a minor matter. Once I've stabilized myself in the academy, I hope to go take a trip to your Luo family and discuss this collaboration. This response made Luo Bing and Luo Ning ecstatic. They wished they could hug and kill for this. It was the best news they could obtain. However, Long Chen was even happier than them inside. Now he had paved a path to the Luo family. Later on, he could go search for information about his mother. Chapter 2892 Fully Expelled Mortal Chi Luo Ning and Luo Bing were delighted. They had essentially done something meritorious for their family. If Long Chen formed a collaboration with the Luo family, then the Luo family's current predicament would be resolved. Furthermore, both of them had now awakened their bloodline power, so they could start unleashing their bloodline divine arts. Even if Gu Fei and the others were concealing their power, both of them had the confidence to defeat them and win the immortal competition. The reason that the Luo family could become the overlord of a prefecture wasn't because of luck. It was because of their own power. Their own foundation ran extremely deep, and their bloodline power was terrifying. Luo Bing and Luo Ning had just awoken this power and needed to go into seclusion. One reason was to get used to their new conditions and start cultivating the secret arts relating to their bloodline. The other reason was because Violet Chi still continued to come from their bodies, and it was too obvious. If they went out, it would be telling everyone that they had awakened their bloodlines. Then their enemies would be prepared. Taking a page out of their enemies' playbook, they chose to stay hidden during this time. When they came out, they would give Gu Fei and the others a nice surprise. Luo Bing then sent word back to their family that the two of them had managed to achieve the spiritual awakening of their bloodlines. After arranging these things, Long Chen could be considered to have taken his first step to going to the Luo family. Hence, he felt a weight fall from his shoulders. However, 
When it came to looking for his mother, he felt both anticipations as well as a certain nervousness. He didn't even remember the face of his biological mother, so he had some contradicting emotions when it came to looking for her. After a while, Long Chen returned to his home and started familiarizing himself with the Seven Supreme Yang technique and the Starry River of the Sky art. When he tried to use the Seven Supreme Yang technique, he found that its creator truly had some amazing insights. The human body already came with all the elements of metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning. But even Long Chen hadn't sensed these energies within him until now. That was because they were far too weak. They could be considered to be in slumber, so subtle that they were completely overlooked. Long Chen only controlled lightning and fire. According to the Seven Supreme Yang technique, he needed to draw out the potential of his metal, wood, water, earth, and wind energies. When he used his flame energy or thunder force, these energies would then undergo a transformation, becoming fuel to support his lightning and fire. However, Long Chen didn't do this. As he cultivated the Nine Star Hegemon body art, the Seven Supreme Yang technique was only here to deceive others. His true trump card wasn't his thunder force or his flame energy, it was his own body. He couldn't put the card in front of the horse. Long Chen's divine ring appeared. After that, red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, and violet colors wove together. The mix of metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning energies forced a rainbow ring out. It was different from his usual divine ring. The colors were not separate in this divine ring. They were mixed together. When he tried to circulate his thunder force, he found that all the colors ignited to become one color. Long Chen could clearly feel the metal, wood, water, earth, and wind energy transforming into lightning energy. But their support was currently extremely weak because Long Chen had only awakened those energies for appearances. He hadn't let them grow. However, his flame energy could not be absorbed into the flow. Likewise, when he used his flame energy, his thunder force would not be absorbed by it either. It was because his flame energy and thunder force were independent entities. They came from Lai Long and Huo Long. Thus, the Seven Supreme Yang technique wasn't effective on them. Long Chen then tried to use his divine ring. When his divine ring appeared, the rainbow divine ring grew with it. He tested it several times and found that the rainbow divine ring could limitlessly grow. But once it grew like that, the seven supreme yang techniques power was also dispersed Novaloon.com Long Chen didn't care about that. The only thing he cared about was whether or not the seven supreme yang technique could cover up his actual divine ring. And this showed that it could. From the outside, it looked like a messy ring of colors. It was impossible to see the six color divine ring inside of it. Seeing that everything looked good, Long Chen switched to the starry river of the sky art. After that, a starry river appeared in his divine ring, and it was somewhat similar to his star diagram. However, when the starry river appeared, his 108,000 stars suddenly quivered. Boom! The starry river collapsed, replaced by his star diagram. It won't even allow a substitution Long Chen jumped in shock. He hadn't even activated the Nine Star Hegemon body art, but as soon as the Starry River appeared, the Nine Star Hegemon body art automatically destroyed it. He tried it a few more times, but every time the Starry River appeared, the Nine Star Hegemon body art would automatically activate and destroy it. Whatever. A Starry River and a Star Diagram are only different in shape. Outsiders shouldn't be able to tell the difference. Long Chen could only give up on this. This kind of thing was a complete headache. He didn't have the time or energy to waste on this. As long as others didn't instantly recognize him, it was fine. His status would be revealed sooner or later. But the later, the better. Time to try using astral energy. Long Chen closed his eyes. He began to circulate astral energy according to the starry river of the sky art. When a star diagram appeared in his hands. Long Chen felt like his Yuan spirit had been extracted from his body. He could see the cosmos and the limitless stars. It felt like he had entered a state of emptiness. It was as if he was a spectator observing the world. Suddenly, pain racked his body and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. This special state was instantly broken, and Long Chen was brought back to reality. The star diagram in his hands had exploded. 
turning his hands into a bloody mess. He then rubbed his head to find that his forehead had also split open. Blood slowly flowed out. What happened? Long Chen still didn't understand what was going on. He had almost died just now. Without condensing the seventh star, you circulated the seventh level of the nine star hegemon body art. Your guts are pretty big. If I hadn't taken action, you would be dead. An ancient voice suddenly rang out in Long Chen's mind. Senior Long Chen was delighted. This was the mysterious voice that had repeatedly rang out in his mind ever since he had started cultivating the nine star hegemon body art. Furthermore, this time, it was far clearer, no longer disjointed. Did this mean that he could uncover some of the secrets of the nine stars? Great nine star heir, you've finally come to the immortal world. We can see hope. Quickly grow up. Nine star heirs all grow up against adversity. You are the strongest warriors of this cosmos. Don't humiliate the prestige of the nine star heirs. I don't know how you ended up touching the power of the cosmos. But remember, without condensing the seventh star, touching that power is the same as killing yourself. I could save you once, but I can't save you a second time. Furthermore, using this power will allow your enemies to instantly lock down your location and attack. Remember this at all costs. Remember, Senior Long Chen cried out. But that ancient voice had vanished like an illusion. Long Chen rubbed his hand, and the blood continued to flow. He had actually caused such a strange injury to himself. It was only when he slowly circulated the nine star hegemon body art that the wound slowly closed. Long Chen finally relaxed slightly. The starry river of the sky art is actually similar to the nine star hegemon body art seventh level. I almost died because of it. Long Chen felt a burst of fear. It seemed that he couldn't randomly cultivate things in the future, especially not things that were similar to the nine star hegemon body art. Long Chen rested for half a day and then went out to hold classes for Mu King Gaian and the others. Time passed just like that until it was the day of the divine competition. Brother San, you've actually fully expelled your mortal chi when the unfettered alliance's disciples gathered. Mu King Gaian suddenly cried out in delight when she looked at Long Chen. Chapter 2893 Cold Water Over the Head The Unfettered Alliance's headquarters was a small pavilion that required 3,000 immortal crystals per month to rent. Long Chen was sitting inside, with the Unfettered Alliance's disciples staring at him in shock. He had gone into seclusion for the past seven days. The last time they saw him, his mortal chi was still present but now it was completely gone. He even had a trace of immortal spiritual chi in his body at this moment. Long Chen was already such a handsome man that even his worn down black robes couldn't conceal his heroic air. But now that his mortal chi had been expelled, it was like the dust had been removed from fine jade. His entire appearance was elevated, making him appear like a crane amongst chickens. He, Brother San has grown more and more handsome. I heard that our High Firmament Academy has a number one beautiful woman and a number one beautiful man. I've never seen them, but I bet that the number one beautiful man doesn't have Brother San's flavor, giggled Zhang Ling. Long Chen involuntarily laughed. Why do you all seem to be in such a good mood? Do you have absolute confidence in this competition of course? After a month of hellish training, if we still couldn't get first place, we'd be ruining Brother San's prestige. We can't lose boss Long San's face, declared Zhang Xiu. In this one month, Long Chen had sealed them off and given them training in a similar way that he had trained the Dragonblood Legion. Of course, he had lowered the standards as these were disciples of rich families. They couldn't possibly be like the Dragonblood warriors who lived every moment knowing that they could lose their lives if they weren't strong enough. However, it had to be said that these disciples finally had some of the stuff that made true experts. There was confidence and ease in their eyes that showed their accomplishments. Mu King Gaian's sword was no longer hanging on her waist but on her back. Furthermore, at no time did it ever leave her body. That wasn't something that Long Chen had taught her. It was something she had naturally comprehended after gaining insight into the sword Dao. She could already be said to have entered the gates to the realm of sword cultivators. Of course, compared to Yu Zifeng, there was simply no comparison. That was because in Yu Zifeng's heart, there was nothing else other than the sword. Brother San, when the competition starts, you can just sit and drink tea while we perform. 
We'll beat Chu Kuang until he pisses himself. Just cheer for us. Zhang Ling clenched her fists, seemingly already seeing their victory. I suddenly really envy you, sighed Long Chen. What it really is nice being young. Youngsters can be naive, but me, at this age, I'm no longer qualified to be so naive. Long Chen shook his head. Zhang Ling and the others were still befuddled. Mu Qingyan asked, Brother San, what are you talking about? Are we too naive? You don't have a good opinion of our chances in the divine competition Qingyan. You are the leader. Confidence is the most basic quality, but you also must have an understanding of each side's power. In your opinion, even without me, how high are your odds of beating the Prime Glory Alliance? Asked Long Chen. If it was one month ago, we would definitely be defeated. But now I've gained an initial understanding of the Sword Dao and also trained in the Firmament Cloud Sword Art. Although I don't dare to say that I can definitely defeat Chu Kuang, I'm at least 50% confident. Even if I can't beat him, I should only be slightly weaker. With Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Ke, Wang Xing, Lu Wei, and the others who have been trained into first-rate experts thanks to you. I feel like our chances of victory are at least over 90%, said Mu Qingyan. In this month, she felt like she had completely transformed. After comprehending the Sword Dao, her killing power was so great that it frightened her. That was why she was so confident. Furthermore, everyone else that she had just mentioned had made exceptional gains as well. Everyone had transformed during this time. If they all went into the competition together, they were confident that they would win Novaloon.com. Long Chen nodded, not saying anything. Mu Qingyan then asked, Brother San, is there a problem? There's no problem on the surface. Your estimation of both sides' power can be considered correct. But can you forecast a bit deeper? A bit deeper. Mu Qingyan was confused. She didn't understand what he was talking about. Not good. Suddenly, a disciple of the Unfettered Alliance came running in covered in sweat. He looked as if the heavens were collapsing, alarming everyone. What's going on? Asked Mu Qingyan. Big sister Qingyan. Chu Kuang is absolutely despicable. He has drawn in outside reinforcements. The Immortal Institute's Gu Fei, the Formation Institute's Tang Yeochen, the Soul Institute's Li Chengbi, and the other famous experts have all joined the Prime Glory Alliance and plan on attending this divine competition. He just handed in the list and I ran over as soon as I saw it. The disciples' words were like thunder exploding beside Mu Qingyan's ears. Everyone was dumbfounded. That's against the rules. Li Ke shouted furiously. These people were all famous within their own respective institutes. How could they simply join the competition of the God Institute? I've asked people, and they said that they are all subordinates of the Chu family and can attend the competition under their status as followers of Chu Kuang. So it's not against the rules. As for Gu Fei, for some reason, he actually gave up on the Immortal Institute's competition to help Chu Kuang. It might be because he wants revenge on Brother San, said that disciple helplessly. Everyone was shocked and enraged. One by one, they turned to look at Long Chen. On the other hand, Long Chen's expression remained indifferent from the start. Brother San, what do you think? Asked Mu Qingyan. This chair is comfy. Long Chen shrugged. Brother San, now isn't the time for jokes. Those fellows are all very terrifying existences said Mu Qingyan anxiously. I'm not joking. It's better to sit in a comfy chair to think rather than hopping around like a clown. When I asked you whether or not you've considered looking deeper, I was referring to this. If Chu Kuang didn't do such a thing, would he still be Chu Kuang? Let me explain it to you frankly. This divine competition has a completely different meaning from normal times, said Long Chen, relaxing into his chair with his hands on the back of his head. Why is it different? Pressed Mu Qingyan. Because the Discipline Institute's head judge and the Chu family are fighting. Chu Kuang can only win, or the consequences will be terrible for him. If he loses, not only will he be executed, but the Chu family's force within the academy will be severely damaged. Although it wouldn't be completely pulling them out by the roots, their prestige will definitely suffer. That's why Chu Kuang will use any sinister schemes he can think of in order to win. There's nothing surprising about this. Just at this moment, 
a bell rang out repeatedly, making Mu Qingyan and the others tense. The divine competition will start in two hours. All forces gather at the field. A voice rang out through the air. Long Chen stood and stretched. He had a relaxed and easy smile on his face. I wish I could be Loki, but some people always refuse to let me. But that's fine. I should move my body a bit, or I'll get rusty. Chapter 2894 God Institute's Divine Competition The Divine Competition was a yearly competition held by the God Institute. This was the only way for ordinary disciples without any background or wealth to join the ranks of the elites in the Inner Academy. According to the Academy's rules, Outer Academy disciples would directly join the Inner Academy upon reaching the Divine Flame Realm. However, if they advanced through that process, their treatment would only be slightly better compared to in the Outer Academy. However, if they passed through this competition, their treatment would be completely different. This competition could be considered a turning point in the disciples' cultivation paths. Although those who could come to the High Firmament Academy mostly had decent financial circumstances, it was only at the level of decent. The immortal world was simply enormous, and there were endless sects and experts. Because of that, the number of geniuses in this world was endless. There were plenty of talented people from places with money, but even those like Li Kei and the others, with their financial power, didn't have the power to directly join the Inner Academy. Hence, it could be seen just how much wealth was required to enter the Inner Academy directly. The High Firmament Academy's rules were very simple. If you were a true genius, then don't worry, there would be plenty of resources available to you. However, if you weren't a genius, you could still come. But don't forget to bring money. Even if you were trash, if you had the money, you could still enter. Using these people's words, they were using the money of the mediocre to raise the geniuses. Geniuses needed resources, and the mediocre wanted the reputation. Both sides got what they wanted. However, people without money also had a chance. People without good talent or family circumstances had to work with their life on the line in order to obtain things that others could obtain simply by reaching out their hand. There was nothing absolutely fair in this world. But the Academy's rules were all good things to every person who came. Whether it was Mu Qingyan or Luo Bing, neither of them was qualified to directly enter the Inner Academy. That was why they were all fighting for this chance. Mu Qingyan had already lost one chance. If she failed again, she would not be able to try again. That was because her cultivation base was already at the peak of mortal transcendence, and she would soon enter the Divine Flame Realm. If she failed this time, she couldn't possibly wait another year. She was currently in her golden cultivation period and couldn't waste this time. If she failed, she could only make her breakthrough and become an ordinary inner academy disciple. Everyone else in the unfettered alliance had the same fate as her. These rules might be cruel, but they were fair. In this world, opportunities could only be grasped by a select few. At this moment, Long Chen led them to the plaza which was already packed with countless people. All the disciples of every institute were allied to watch this competition. However, there were so many people that some of them had started camping out here a few days in advance. Some slower ones didn't even have a chance to find a spot and had to stand at a great distance. When Long Chen walked in, all eyes concentrated on him. He, the newcomer boss Long San with the greatest limelight in the entire academy has finally entered the stage. A good show is about to start. He entered as a worker and soared into becoming a disciple of the Pill Institute in an instant. He also possesses his status as an instructor of the God Institute. How amazing. Is your news outdated? Boss Long San already has another status. He's an instructor of the Immortal Institute as well. Furthermore, Heaven Master Dong Ming personally bestowed that status on him. It can be said that the Immortal Institute cares about him even more than the God Institute. Others want to become instructors for the benefits, but Boss Long San is apparently a genius at refining pills and magical arts. Hence, the Immortal Institute wants to focus on grooming him. Just watch, it won't be long before the youngest Heaven Master of the High Firmament Academy's history appears, said someone. HMPH, you keep calling him Boss Long San. Are you willing to be his subordinate? What kind of ability does he have to make you flatter him so much? 
He's a lower world ascender who didn't even have the money to pay for the registration fee. He had to cheat by going through the path of a worker. Just how inferior do you feel about yourselves to call him boss? Are you not worried about losing the face of your ancestors? Sneered someone else. The people around this person were instantly enraged. Are you an idiot? The boss here is nothing more than an honorific. Just like young master. What does it have to do with our ancestors? Boss Long San didn't walk an ordinary path. So what? Aren't you just an ordinary disciple of the inner academy? You're not even an elite disciple. What qualifications do you have to look down on others? Little fellow, I've remembered you. Just wait. Don't let me run into you again. Or I'll make you kneel and call me daddy so that you understand the difference between Boss Long San and daddy. Seeing so many fierce gazes cast his way, that person instantly became afraid. After a moment's hesitation, he gave up his spot and fled. Count yourself smart. Otherwise, once I know who you are, you are a dead man, sneered someone else. By slipping away, that person took advantage of no one knowing who he was. He finally experienced what it meant for a mouth to bring about calamity. Countless people whispered to themselves, clearly discussing Long Chen. Also, quite a few brazen female disciples actually waved at him. Once some started waving, others started greeting him. A few of them even shouted his name. He, Brother San, your charisma really is big. These senior apprentice sisters have even started to seduce you, giggled Zhang Ling. The academy did not prevent matters between a man and woman as it even permitted dual cultivation. However, those who wished to dual cultivate had to register within the academy, or if they were caught, they would be expelled from the academy. Thus, there weren't too many taboos between the men and women of the academy, so some people liked to be brazen. With Long Chen's soaring fame, his limitless potential, and his appearance, many women wished to dual cultivate with him. For them to express that to him openly was not an embarrassing thing. Brother San, why act so cool? Say hello to those senior apprentice sisters. Perhaps some of them might become sister-in-law San in the future. Giggle Zhang Xiu. Your sisters-in-law won't appear here. Those kinds of feelings are purely a kind of resonance between souls. Not two people having their own goals in interacting. If it was purely for cultivation and only later were feelings born. It would be an insult to love. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen. Just as Long Chen reached their position, Luo Bing and Luo Ning ran in. Chapter 2895 Cheating? What? Has something happened on your side? Asked Long Chen hastily. No, it's your side that's changed. Gu Fei led all his experts over to be Chu Kuang's reinforcements. We basically have no opponents on our side, but we've already handed in our list. So we can't be your reinforcements. What can we do? Asked Luo Bing anxiously. Luo Bing and Luo Ning had been waiting until the very last moment to come out of seclusion. However, they had never expected such a thing to occur. Gu Fei had actually given up on the immortal competition. In other words, Luo Bing's side could take the crown without any effort at all. That made Luo Bing and Luo Ning feel like they had just unleashed a powerful punch on a ball of cotton. The feeling of having power but not being able to release it was difficult to bear. Furthermore, since they had handed in their list of attendants early on, they couldn't help Long Chen. When they learned that Chu Kuang had managed to form an alliance with all these experts just in order to obtain an absolute victory in the divine competition, Luo Bing was so anxious that her eyes reddened. It's fine. Everything is within expectations. Let me tell you this. In front of absolute power. All schemes are meaningless. Don't worry. With me here, you can rest assured. Watch out for them having some devious play on your side as well, said Long Chen. Seeing that Long Chen seemed prepared for this, Luo Bing felt better. She nodded and rushed back to the Immortal Institute with Luo Ning. Their competition was also starting soon. However, with no Gu Fei on that side, there was absolutely no suspense over who would win. Thus, Everyone in the academy came here to see the battle in the God Institute. Chu Kuang has come. An uproar erupted within the crowd when Chu Kuang walked into the plaza with a large group of experts. He had recovered his normal appearance. Furthermore, the divine energy fluctuations around his body had grown even more powerful. 
the God Institutes Chu Kuang, the Immortal Institutes Gu Fei, the Formation Institutes Tang Yeochen, the Soul Institutes Li Chenbi, and the various famous existences within multiple other institutes. Who would have thought that Chu Kuang could gather them all up today? This kind of lineup is enough to cause despair, not just that. Look at that red-haired fellow. Isn't he that Xiang Kiji? He's a fire element expert from the Five Elements Institute. He has made quite a reputation for himself in less than half a year in the academy. Also, there's that green-eyed fellow with the hat. The one who looks demonic. He's called Demon Eye Yang Fang. He's also a frightening existence. Moreover, there are many other familiar faces. Although I don't know all their names, they are all incredibly powerful. Chu Kuang really is shameless to gather them all. These experts that had joined the Prime Glory Alliance were all very powerful Outer Academy disciples within the High Firmament Academy. They all had their own reputation and fame. At the same time as people sighed over the Chu family's immense influence, they also felt immense disdain for Chu Kuang's actions. So what if he won this battle? His reputation was completely wrecked now. Mu King Gaian was infuriated upon seeing this lineup. Chu Kuang was absolutely shameless. This was practically cheating. Mu King Gaian, I heard that you've all been training as hard as you can. I can honestly tell you now that all your efforts were meaningless. This world's opportunities only go to the strong. The rules are created by the strong in order to bind the weak to their whims. As for the strong, they are forever above the rules. You think you can become an elite inner academy disciple? Just keep dreaming. With me here, you will never achieve that dream in this lifetime. Those that refuse me, Chu Kuang, have also forfeited their futures, said Chu Kuang arrogantly. A hissing sound rang out from the crowd. Everyone had long since heard that Chu Kuang was unbridled and lecherous. He had over 10 registered dual cultivation partners, but it was unknown just how many unregistered ones he had. After Mu King Gaian rejected Chu Kuang, Chu Kuang turned her into an example, suppressing her this entire time. It was as if he was telling every female disciple that if they rejected him, they wouldn't have a good ending. How shameless. Does he see women as playthings? Some women are self-deprecating, as if they need to rely on men to cultivate. But even then, do they have to rely on such a vile person? I heard that Chu Kuang had lost at Long Chen's hands consecutively. Last time, he was even almost incinerated. But the heavens are really blind. Why not just let him die? Countless people were infuriated by Chu Kuang's arrogance. While many women were embarrassed, the men also felt like Chu Kuang was provoking them, as if silently looking down on them for being powerless. Mu King Gaian quivered with rage. Chu Kuang was too shameless. With such a giant power disparity, how could they fight? Gu Fei, Tang Yeochen, Li Chengbi, they were all famous figures. Any one of them would cause Mu King Gaian's side to fall to an absolute disadvantage. Now that so many experts on this level had joined the Prime Glory Alliance, their side didn't have the slightest chance. The rules of the academy were truly frustrating. How was this any different than cheating? But if it was cheating, well... She could also cheat and invite outside reinforcements. But other than Luo Bing and Luo Ning, she had no reinforcements to draw on. Furthermore, the two of them had been included in Chu Kuang's calculations and couldn't come. So there was nothing she could do. She was filled with fury but also helplessness. However, she suppressed her tears because she knew that would only make her even more aggrieved. Seeing that she didn't even dare to open her mouth for fear of crying. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. When could these children grow up? He stepped forward and cupped his fists. Hey, aren't you the noble knight Chu Kuang who was almost incinerated and even slapped in the Discipline Institute but didn't dare to even make a sound? That good brother who tucked his tail between his legs and fled? For someone about to be executed. You sure are arrogant, aren't you? The infuriated Mu King Gaian instantly laughed along with the other disciples of the Unfettered Alliance. In fact, many of the other disciples also laughed in delight. These words were like blades slicing through Chu Kuang's flesh. The way Long Chen could so solemnly call Chu Kuang a noble knight was particularly remarkable and filled with satire. Considering how much Chu Kuang had infuriated everyone, even if it wasn't funny, 
they would probably still make sure to laugh loudly. You, Chu Kuang almost choked. He didn't even have the ability to retort. Long Chen, you really are arrogant. In a bit, I'll see if your abilities match the sharpness of your mouth, said the red-haired man beside Chu Kuang. He disdainfully looked down on Long Chen, his gaze full of hostility. Chapter 2896 Competition Begins What hole did you roll out of? Did you think your red hair could disguise you as a red-haired tortoise? After being in the academy for so long, did you not learn any manners? I was talking to him. So why are you interjecting? Sneered Long Chen, casting a sideways glance at that red-haired man. Long Chen originally didn't want to waste the saliva on talking to these idiots, but Mu King Gaian's side didn't have people who knew how to curse back, so he could only step up, courting death. This red-haired man was Xiang Kiji, a powerful flame cultivator. As soon as he was angered, flames burst into existence around him, turning him into a man of fire and forcing everyone near him back. Wow, how amazing. Long Chen praised him, staring at him with a shocked expression. Now you realize this? It's too late. Long Chen, today, I will what an amazing technique. If you die, there's no need for anyone else to do anything. You can just directly cremate yourself without troubling anyone else. Great. Long Chen raised a thumb at him. Hearing this, Xiang Kiji almost coughed up blood. Just as he thought that Long Chen was shocked by his power, this sudden turn made him real. Other disciples laughed. They were shocked at his power at first. But Long Chen's comedic ability truly wasn't ordinary. After that, Mu Qingyan and the other's gloom gradually faded. They no longer felt as vexed. Furthermore, Long Chen's easygoing appearance did make them feel some confidence. Long Chen, if you're a man, bring out your real ability. A glid mouth doesn't make a man, interjected the green-eyed man with the hat on his head. He was Devil I Yang Fang. Long Chen shook his head, wagging his finger at him. First, it was Noble Knight Chu Kuang who spouted bullshit first. Second, the mouth is also an ability. The Tao is transmitted through the mouth. A glid mouth is the foundation of an instructor. You don't have that ability. Third, I'm very curious. Which master managed to teach all of you this ability to help a dog eat shit? Fourth, and this is the one I'm most curious about. May I ask if you have a dual cultivation Dao companion? Devil I Yang Fang was surprised by the final question. He didn't overthink it. Of course. And not just one. Oh. Long Chen nodded as if with sudden comprehension. He pointed at his hat. No wonder your hat is that color. Love blinds you until you're green. Yang Fang's hat actually wasn't an ornament. It was a spirit item that assisted him with his devil eye. Calling it his green hat was his taboo. 1. It had been years since someone had even dared to mention such a thing in front of him. But now Long Chen said it in front of all these people. Long Chen, you are looking to die. With all of you smelly fellows here. Do I even need to look? 2. Long Chen waved his hand under his nose. You, Chu Kuang and the others almost exploded with rage. If they were fighting with their mouths, they simply weren't a match for Long Chen. They finally experienced just how tough his mouth was. One word could choke them all. At this time, their faces were swollen like pigs, and Mu Qingyan couldn't help being happy. Just the ability of his mouth was something to envy. In the trial hall, he forced a magistrate to lower his head and apologize to him. Here, he cursed a group of people into being speechless. All the disciples here could be said to have experienced Long Chen's awesomeness. The funniest thing was that every time he spoke, the surrounding disciples would laugh and cheer along, supporting him. Their oppressive entrance plus Chu Kuang's display of oppressive power had shaken Mu Qingyan and the others' confidence. But just with Long Chen's mouth, the tables had turned. Now it was the unfettered alliance's disciples whose morale was soaring. I can't be bothered to waste words on you. We'll settle the winner in a bit. Chu Kuang had nothing else to say but to throw out some tough words. If you can't be bothered to waste words, why did you still run over to talk bullshit? Is there too much shit in your heads? You can't help but spout it? Or is it that your roasting last time caused that shit to ferment? Or did my slap break your head? Said Long Chen disdainfully. After losing in the cursing battle, Chu Kuang just had to say such an empty phrase. It was truly irritating. Long Chen, 
Chu Kuang's voice hissed out from the cracks between his teeth. His hatred toward Long Chen could no longer be expressed with words. Suddenly, the sound of a bell shook everyone's hearts. After that, the disciples hastily took their positions. Three chairs appeared in the sky, one in the east and two in the west. Long Chen and the others were in the east. Why does that chair look so familiar? Mumbled Long Chen. Of course it's familiar. You've sat in it before. Laughed Mu Qingyan. Wasn't that precisely the head judge's seat? Just as she said this, the head judge also materialized on top of the seat. To the west. Chu Huiiren and the other magistrate also appeared. There was one in the east, two in the west, facing each other. It's rumored that this divine competition is also a bet between the head judge and the two magistrates. Apparently, the head judge is very dissatisfied with the Chu family. He has tried to suppress them multiple times and failed. So it seems he wants to use this divine competition to compete with the two magistrates. If it's actually a gamble then the head judge will definitely lose. The power disparity between the two sides is too great. Although most of the disciples here supported Long Chen, admiring him for his courage and eloquence. Power was power. This was not a gamble in which luck would decide the winner. Could ants like us understand the bets between giants like them? Don't waste your time guessing. Just watch the result in peace. Right, said another disciple. Whoever won or lost had nothing to do with them. I wonder if it's possible for us to assert to the head judge that Chu Kuang is cheating, whispered Mu Qingyan. The head judge was also looking at Long Chen. When Long Chen saw that gaze, he shook his head. No need. They're cheating. But isn't it the same as how you drew me in as well? What you need to take note of is that this divine competition might not have as many rules to speak of. This is not playing around. This is a true battle and people might die. Be prepared just at this moment. The sound of a bell rang out once more. The entire plaza instantly became illusory and faded away. Long Chen and the others seemed to have been transported to another world. The divine competition starts now. 1. Green hat equals cuckold. 2. Looking to die sounds like looking for shit. Chapter 2897 Maze Battlefield Long Chen suddenly found himself brought to a mountain valley. However, the other disciples who weren't part of the competition found that the plaza had transformed into an illusory world. Long Chen and the others were within it. While they were spectating, the plaza had transformed into its own world filled with crisscrossing mountains. It was like a maze. At the center was a tall mountain with a rainbow flag stuck at the top. Whoever seized that flag in the end would win. Long Chen and the others then saw a formation up above them. As they were unable to directly fly up. They could only traverse through the labyrinth-like valleys between the mountains, hoping to find the correct path in the shortest time. Mu Qingyan and the others had experienced this once, so they immediately split up, each of them carrying some glowing powder. They began to search for the right path with the greatest speed. On the other hand, Long Chen closed his eyes. He formed hand seals, sending his spiritual strength flying out. If he could find the path this way, it would save a huge amount of time. The disciples outside instantly understood his intentions. Some shook their heads. Did Long Chen not study the strategies? Did Mu Qingyan not warn him? Spiritual strength is severely suppressed in the formation just at this moment. A startled cry rang out from the spectators. Blue smoke appeared on the side belonging to Chu Kuang and rapidly surged forward like the tide. That's the Formation Institute's Tang Yeochen. He's using a formation to find the right path. The blue smoke was extremely rapid. Tang Yeochen was incredibly efficient. On the other hand, Mu Qingyan and the others had only covered a tenth of the necessary area to find the right path. But Chu Kuang's side was already a third done. At this moment, the space around Long Chen quivered, and the suppression of the formation above him appeared. However, he didn't stop. Resisting that suppression, his spiritual strength continued onward. The formation runes lit up. They were originally a thin membrane, but now they began to rise like a bubble around Long Chen. What is going on? Everyone was startled to see this. They had never seen such a phenomenon. Who can explain? Is Long Chen cheating? Whose spiritual strength could possibly resist the entire grand formation? It has nothing to do with spiritual strength. Just at this moment, an old voice rang out. 
Heaven Master Yan Yang. More startled cries rang out. Heaven Master Yan Yang had actually been amongst their midst, and none of them had noticed. Heaven Master Yan Yang, this disciple wishes to know, if it has nothing to do with spiritual strength, what is it? Then respected head judge, magistrates, I'll embarrass myself by answering Heaven Master Yan Yang first greeted the head judge and the magistrates. Although he was a Heaven Master, the Discipline Institute was not under his jurisdiction. The three of them were actually a level higher in terms of status, and to directly respond to such a question would be lacking in manners toward them. The head judge smiled. It's fine. As a heaven master, to quench your disciples' curiosity is natural. We are just bearing witness to this competition. Heaven master Yun Yang nodded and said, The formation is called the soul shrouding formation. If someone tries to use their divine sense to find the path, it will be suppressed. If the other side resists, in order to prevent the disciple's soul from crumbling, the formation will suppress their will, making them give up. Thus, when someone attempts to break free of the formation's spiritual suppression, the formation will automatically suppress their will. So, what you see is the formation attempting to suppress his will. For the formation to start deforming means that Long Chen's will is extremely powerful, even with the formation's suppression. His divine sense is continuing to spread. Heaven Master Yun Yang's explanation left many disciples befuddled. Heaven Master Yun Yang, disciple will be so bold as to ask a blunt question. What is this will that you are talking about? Whenever I ask any instructors this during their classes, they always give me an ambiguous answer. To tell the truth, I've always felt that those classes I bought were scams because of this. Other than that, Disciple will be so bold as to ask Heaven Master Yun Yang if the ranks of the instructors can be cleaned up a bit. Many of them are just eating for free and only a few of them actually have skills. I had the fortune to attend one of Instructor Long Chen's classes for free, and I learned so much. But Instructor Long Chen is too busy, so he doesn't have any class slots available. Disciple knows that these words will offend many people, but with the Discipline Institute's head judge here, Disciple feels like only by bringing it up here will there be any effective resolution. An uproar exploded amongst the crowd. This disciple's words were truly sharp. This was practically a public accusation. They looked at Heaven Master Yun Yang's response. He wasn't angry. Instead, he smiled. Young friend, you spoke very well. The instructor ranks are truly a mix. Quite a few instructors are just there to make up the numbers. Because of it. We will not just have to adjust this, but we'll have to change the system. For example, free classes that are not bought by the disciples but held by the academy. The instructor exams will also have to become more stringent, with those who don't fit the ranks being expelled. Young friend, don't worry. If someone causes trouble for you because of today's matter, just find me and I will fix it. A youngster should have this kind of courage. You should all try to learn Instructor Long Chen's sharpness. Only once you reveal your sharp light will the Academy see you amongst the crowd and have a chance to pick you out. Many thanks. Heaven Master Yun Yang. That disciple originally only said those words due to his anger at this system. In truth, after he spoke, he grew afraid. But Heaven Master Yun Yang's promise almost made him sob with emotion. Everyone felt admiration for Heaven Master Yun Yang's words. This was a true instructor, modest and receptive. He was on a completely different plane than those instructors who looked down their noses at those who took their classes. Suddenly, shocked cries rang out. Even Chu Hua Iron's expression changed. Chapter 2898 Will that shakes the heavens within the formation. Long Chen's hair and clothes were whirling violently. After that, a heaven-shaking will came through the formation. Rumbling could be heard through heaven and earth. The formation above his head had been forced back high into the sky, and countless cracks appeared throughout it like it might burst. How can Long Chen's will be so terrifying? Chu Hua Iron and the other magistrate were alarmed. Even the formation was unable to suppress him. This was something that had never occurred in the countless years that the divine competition was held. Seeing the formation bulging above Long Chen, people's hearts pounded. The will that came through the formation made it seem like a supreme existence was coming from a seemingly weak body. For a moment, people could only stare. 
These disciples stared at Long Chen like he was a monster. Heaven Master, just what is the will? Asked one brazen disciple. Heaven Master Yun Yang stared at Long Chen, also shocked. He said, the will is an ephemeral power. It really can't be described with words. Some instructors have yet to recognize the power of the will, so they can't answer you. But even if they do, many people will have different answers. Even I cannot give you the correct answer because the will is a power that exists outside of all other powers. Every person has willpower, but many can't sense it. When you try to use it, you find that you can't find it. Only true experts can feel that power and use it. As for the definition of the will, there are no words that can accurately describe it. I can give you a comparison. When you fight against your enemies, when your immortal spiritual energy, physical energy, spiritual strength, elemental energy, life energy, and all other energies you possess are exhausted, but you still don't admit defeat and continue fighting. What you are fighting with is your will. To the weak, this power is hidden in slumber. Only the strong can continue to persevere through adversity, through absolute despair. Even if death is coming, they will still face their opponent fearlessly, in search of a chance to counterattack with death right before them. The will cannot be taught. If you understand, then you understand. If you don't understand, perhaps you still won't understand even in death. This explanation left some disciples nodding but also some staring blankly. But didn't you say that the will is ephemeral? Why can it become a substantive power here? One is standing at the bottom of the mountain. Looking up, you see the clouds covering the peak. The other is standing above the dome of the heavens, looking down on the mortal world of dust, with all deos of the heavens in their embrace. I cannot understand Long Chen's will because there is simply too large of a gap between my will and his. If I were to randomly talk about it, it would only disgrace me. If it was just humiliating myself, then this old man wouldn't mind losing some of my old face. But to mislead my disciples would be a terrible sin, said Heaven Master Yun Yang. Although some people still didn't understand, others could comprehend the general meaning. Heaven Master Yun Yang was saying that Long Chen's will was far, far stronger than his own, so he could only give a broad explanation. Long Chen's will was even stronger than Heaven Master Yun Yang's? This was something that made these disciples feel disbelief. The head judge suddenly said, Heaven Master Yun Yang is correct. The will is the foundation for a person to get stronger. It can also be explained as a person's determination to get stronger. A strong will can allow someone to maintain their original heart during good times and not lose their heart during bad times. They will not give up to despair. However, to achieve something like what Long Chen has and have the will manifest outside is only possible if his will has been tempered through endless blood and slaughter. His will is now capable of being unsheathed as a sharp blade capable of cutting apart the heavens. Suddenly, the formation shuddered. After that, the giant bulge in the formation returned to normal. Did Long Chen fail? Long Chen's eyes suddenly opened within the mountain range. He smiled. Everyone, gather up. Follow me. Mu King Gian and the others didn't know what was happening outside. They simply saw Long Chen with the air shuddering around him. But hearing his command, they immediately gathered up. Long Chen then led them rushing through this maze-like mountain range. Does this mean that he already found the path? They watched as Long Chen rushed through without hesitation. When they looked at Chu Kuang's side, someone also cried out. Chu Kuang has found the path and is starting to move out. Chu Kuang's side was just as fast. From the inside, it was impossible to see the full scope of the maze. But the disciples watching could see everything clearly. Chu Kuang's formation master, Tang Yeochen, had already formed a path through the maze. And Chu Kuang and the others were rushing down that path. From the outside, everyone could see that it was correct. The two sides seemed equally matched. Both of them were advancing with shocking speed. In the past. Disciples would spread glowing powder to mark the paths that they had tried out before joining together and testing the more likely paths. This saved time in the long run. However, this time, Chu Kuang used a formation master to find the path that could almost be considered cheating. As for Long Chen, he was even crazier. He actually ignored the suppression of the grand formation and directly searched for the path through his divine sense. With both sides moving, the disciples tensed up with nervousness and excitement. 
They seemed equally matched at the moment. No one could tell who would win and who would lose. Not good. Long Chen has taken a wrong turn. He's heading straight for a dead end. No way. Shocked. People looked at Long Chen. Unlike Chu Kuang's side, there was no formation lighting up a path for them. Hence, the others on Long Chen's side didn't know which way he was going exactly. However, from the outside, they could see that he had taken a wrong turn, away from the correct path. He was getting further and further away. Just now, they had been shocked by Long Chen's display. But now, he made such a giant blunder. Chu Huiiren and the other magistrate remained indifferent on the surface, but both of them had mocking looks in their eyes. On the other hand, the head judge looked at Long Chen with interest. As an expert that had fought on the battlefield, his sharp intuition told him that Long Chen definitely wouldn't make such a mistake. However, even he couldn't understand Long Chen's path, but by following where he was going, he suddenly smiled. How astonishing. Chapter 2899 Devil Slaughter Path Long Chen had brought his group straight into a dead end, seemingly without sensing anything. Hence, quite a few people shook their heads and sighed. He had already lost with this. Although quite a few disciples in the academy had connections with the Chu family, when compared to the total sum of disciples in the academy, it was still a very small portion. So, the majority of all people actually hoped for Long Chen to win because Chu Kuang's constant arrogance was extremely displeasing. However, watching Long Chen take the wrong path, they sighed dejectedly. That hope in their hearts was extinguished. Long Chen's group quickly reached the dead end. When Mu Qingyan and the others saw it, they were dumbfounded. A giant cliff cut off their path. Brother San, Zhang Ling and the others were dumbfounded. Don't waste words. Keep going. Long Chen brought them straight up to the cliff. Long Chen then jumped onto the cliff and made a mark on it with his hand. King Guyan, give me a cross slash here, shouted Long Chen. I, Mu King Guyan was stunned. Don't hesitate. Trust me, you can do it, said Long Chen. Mu King Guyan then clenched her teeth and unsheathed her sword. Two slashes came out in a row, leaving a giant cross-shaped scar on the cliff. When Mu King Guyan struck, the disciples outside cried out in shock. Sword light. It was definitely sword light. The specific divine ability of sword cultivators. As soon as Mu King Guyan attacked, it shook countless people. Even heaven master Yun Yang's eyes were shining. According to his calculations, Mu King Guyan should have required three years of bitter cultivation in order to truly step onto the path of the sword cultivator. Clearly. Encountering Long Chen had caused her to completely transform. She had condensed sword light far faster than he had expected. Zhang Ling and the others exclaimed in shock. They saw light coming through the two scars on the cliff. This terrifyingly giant cliff was actually only a few meters thick. Mu King Guyan's attack had pierced through it. Li Kei. As soon as Long Chen shouted, Li Kei understood. He stamped on the ground, his leg instantly doubling in size. He then smashed toward the cliff like a cannonball, unleashing a punch. Boom. A hole was blasted into the cliff. Li Kei had awakened his latent bloodline talent, and it gave him shocking physical power. With the cuts that Mu King Guyan had made, he easily pierced through. Let's go. Long Chen immediately led them through this hole, and the disciples outside came to a sudden understanding. So Long Chen had intentionally led them here. After going through this cliff, their path had been shortened immensely, saving them a lot of time. Congratulations, Heaven Master Yun Yang. A powerful sword cultivator has appeared in your God Institute. It's Heaven Master Dong Ming. Why has Heaven Master Dong Ming come here? Doesn't he need to preside over the Immortal Institute's competition? There's nothing to see in the Immortal competition. One side actually just surrendered at the start. It's already over. So I came over here to watch. He, I didn't think that I'd get to see such a marvelous sight. Heaven Master Yun Yang. Congratulations Heaven Master Dong Ming laughed. Along with Heaven Master Dong Ming were quite a few other instructors of the Immortal Institute, as well as some disciples. Although the Immortal Institute and the God Institute weren't friendly with each other, Heaven Master Yun Yang and Heaven Master Dong Ming were old acquaintances. Everyone also knew that the fighting between the two institutes didn't affect their relationship. What is there to congratulate? 
It probably won't be long before the Sword Dao Institute comes to take her. You also know that we can't provoke the Sword Dao Institute. If they want one of ours, we have to offer them with both hands, said Heaven Master Yun Yang with a smile. Heaven Master Dong Ming first greeted the head judge and the two magistrates before sitting. Can you help me arrange two more seats here? Heaven Master Dong Ming looked to the disciples behind him. Luo Bing and Luo Ning immediately rushed forward. Heaven Master Dong Ming had actually gotten them seats. Luo Ning gratefully said, Heaven Master Dong Ming, you really are the best. You saved us so much time and brought us to watch the divine competition haha. <laughs> The main thing is that I want to watch as well. If your competition didn't end, I couldn't leave either. In any case, the other side didn't have the heart to compete. Ending it was better, laughed Heaven Master Dong Ming. People couldn't help smiling. This Heaven Master Dong Ming was really easy to like. He wanted to watch the divine competition, so he actually openly changed the rules. It was completely different from those instructors who stuck to the rules like they were edicts of the heavens. Furthermore, he didn't bother concealing his intentions or coming up with excuses. He was even this brazen in front of the head judge. Luo Bing and Luo Ning sat and watched as Long Chen charged through the maze. His speed exceeded Chu Kuang's side. Once they passed through the maze, they entered a spacious area. This was a channel so long that they couldn't see the end. As soon as they set foot inside of it, the channel lit up. One ferocious beast after another appeared within their eyes scarlet like they were crazed, and they immediately attacked. These beasts contained a devilish aura in their eyes. They were bloodthirsty and violent, completely different from the beasts the disciples hunted on the hunting grounds. They've entered the second phase, the devil slaughter path. These beasts have been infected by the devil race's blood. I wonder how many people. Luo Bing shook her head, unable to keep speaking. The divine competition was different from the immortal competition. It was far bloodier, and there were always some casualties when it was held. That was because the God Institute's disciples focused on activating their bloodline power, and to do so, they needed to make breakthroughs under the threat of death. But the Immortal Institute's disciples focused more on comprehending the heavenly deos. The two paths were different, and the further they went down these paths, the more the two paths diverged. That was why the divine competition was bloodier than the immortal competition. In the cruelest competition of their history, one side lost over 300 people. They had only had 500 people at the start. When Long Chen and the others entered the second phase, the disciples watching tensed up. This was a chaotic battlefield. What was tested was power, not luck. In the face of these devilish beasts, Long Chen simply stood there. However, Mu King Gaian and the others instantly understood and charged forward. Mu King Gaian reached the first beast. Her sword flashed through the air, striking like a bolt of lightning. As a result, that beast that was at the peak of mortal transcendence had its head cut off in an instant, its blood spraying into the air. Get into formation. Just do what we've drilled, shouted Mu King Gaian, already charging toward the group of beasts. Chapter 2900 Berserk Blood Mammoth Mu King Gaian's sword danced through the air, and sword light flickered. In just a moment, those beasts collapsed to the ground. How amazing! Luo Ning watched in admiration as Mu King Gaian swept through those beasts. They collapsed before her, not even their blood able to touch her robes. She wove through their midst gracefully. Behind her, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Kei and the other powerful disciples formed up squads with the other disciples, charging through the beast wave. Mu King Gaian had picked out the strongest beasts to kill, leaving some weaker ones for Li Kei and the others. That way, it would reduce the danger and increase their efficiency. What elites? Even in the face of deviled beasts, they can remain calm and suppress the fear in their hearts. Not bad, not bad. Heaven Master Dong Ming couldn't help praising. These were no ordinary beasts. They had the blood of devils in their bodies, and that gave them a frightening aura that applied additional mental pressure on their opponents. An ordinary disciple would be naturally afraid, but Heaven Master Dong Ming didn't see much fear in the eyes of the unfettered alliance. Their combat power wasn't suppressed. Such an ability was the most difficult to gain, but Long Chen had managed to teach it to them in one month. During this time, he had taught them how to face their opponents head-on. 
Even though they did feel fear, this fear no longer locked their limbs and turned their minds blank. Furthermore, the sight of Mu King Gion at the front slaughtering these terrifying beasts gave them endless confidence. As they killed the beasts one by one, their fear gradually faded, and their battle intent rose. Their movements gradually became easy and relaxed. In the first clash on the Devil Slaughter Path, only a few people were injured. Things then quickly stabilized. They pressed forward with no deaths. The unfettered alliances display shocked everyone watching. The combat power displayed by those ordinary disciples was even more shocking than Mu King Gion's sword light. For a genius to suddenly soar was no surprise. That was because many geniuses would accumulate their power in order to unleash a blazing light. However, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Kei, and the others couldn't count as geniuses, especially not Li Kei and the other members of the elite group that had been considered trash. But their display today amazed even four peak experts. People couldn't help looking toward Long Chen. Just what kind of method had he used to turn this group of ordinary people into elites? Ignoring everything else, even if they lost the competition, their fearless will on the battlefield meant that it was very likely that the inner academy would still accept them as elite disciples through a battlefield trial. When everyone looked at Long Chen, they found that he was just standing amongst the disciples, overlooking the entire battlefield. He had no intention of helping against these beasts. Long Chen was originally prepared for any mortal danger but he was comforted to see that these unfettered alliances disciples really weren't bad. They were handling things without him. Boom. Suddenly, the land shuddered and a giant figure charged over, trampling over the other beasts in its path. Mu King Gion was startled. She slashed her sword, but when it struck its tusk, a metallic ringing rang out. She didn't manage to sever that tusk. That's a true devil beast. The berserk blood mammoth. What's going on? There's not supposed to be pure-blooded devil beasts on the devil slaughter path, exclaimed an instructor. The immortal world's devil race was terrifying and strange. Moreover, their blood possessed the ability to infect others. Those infected by their blood would be devilized, becoming bloodthirsty and violent. It was rumored that the devil race had appeared during the era of primal chaos. There were many mysteries when it came to them. Regular beasts that filled this world might reproduce quickly but they weren't that harmful. On the other hand, the devil race was completely different. If a devil beast died, its corpse would be consumed by other beasts, and they would be infected by their devil blood, transforming into devilish beasts. They were even more ferocious. They would go mad at the sight of blood, fighting until the last drop of blood. The beasts for the devil slaughter path were picked out one by one. But now, a pure-blooded devil beast had appeared, and that shocked everyone. This kind of mistake was unforgivable as such a thing could wipe out the entire squad. The lives of the disciples could not be used like this. Whoever bore responsibility for this matter would very likely be executed. Is someone cheating? What difference is this from slaughter? Raged someone. Countless gazes glanced toward Chu Hua Iron, making his expression sink instantly. The ones in charge of this competition are the God Institute's instructors. What are you looking at me for? Such a thing is strictly against the rules of the academy. Who would dare to cheat? Are they courting death? With that, people couldn't help looking toward Heaven Master Yun Yang. Before he could say anything, the head judge said, This is not a mistake and is simply an unforeseen event. That berserk blood mammoth has only mutated recently. You can see that from the blood marks that are still on its tusks. These beasts were prepared three days ago. So this accident most likely occurred during this time. It can only be said that Long Chen's side has bad luck. Just at this moment, the berserk blood mammoth charged at Mu King Gion, its tusks wildly smashing through the air. She repeatedly dodged and attacked, but her sharp sword light was unable to break through its tough hide. She was only able to leave some superficial cuts. With its giant body, those cuts were nothing. Hence. This was not an opponent that Mu King Gion could defeat. It only grew angrier as Mu King Gion dodged. Suddenly, it let out a roar and the void shuddered. It suddenly gave up on Mu King Gion and charged toward the other disciples behind her. Watch out! Mu King Gion cried out. If that terrifying berserk blood mammoth charged through them, it was unknown how many people would be trampled to death. Brother San, 
Mu Qingyan could do nothing about it, so she could only plead for Long Chen's assistance. With a flash, Long Chen appeared in front of the rampaging berserk blood mammoth. Its eyes were completely scarlet, but when it saw Long Chen, it suddenly dug its legs into the ground. The berserk blood mammoth's thick legs left long lines in the ground before it came to a stop less than 5 meters from Long Chen. Dust and dirt almost covered Long Chen. Long Chen simply looked at the berserk blood mammoth, which looked back at him. One giant figure and one small figure simply stared at each other for several breaths time, neither side moving. What's going on?